Hi guys, welcome back to another Fear Stream VOD. Uh, this one is from the 1st of April 2022, and I re-rolled to an Alliance Demon Hunter. No more Horde Mage. I re-rolled to Alliance Demon Hunter. It's fine. <laughs> My excuse for a leveling stream. I hope you enjoy watching the VOD as much as I enjoyed streaming it. If you'd like to catch me live, you can head over to twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma, tack on a slash schedule to that, and uh, the website will let you know what time I'm going live in your time zone, because automatic conversions are beautiful. Uh, and you can also follow me offline on, well, no, still online, but not live. Social media. <laughs> particularly Instagram, that's what I'm trying to focus on growing my following on Insta at the moment. Uh, but also Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, all the fun stuff, it's all down in the description box below if you want to check that out. Uh, but I hope that you enjoy the VOD, and hopefully I will see you next time live in chat. Hello. Welcome back. It's another fear stream. How is everyone? I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. I had uh, quite a productive Stay day today. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> I had quite a productive day today. Um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I didn't get everything done, but I got a lot done. Not everything, but a lot. So I'm, I'm pretty good with that. Place your units. There's a link in chat for stream raiders. If you follow that link and log in with your Twitch account, you're able to drag and drop your units onto the the like teal section here of the battlefield. Um, Captain messages. Huh. That's cool. So I can set a message to like pop. What it. So it just kind of sits down here. That's interesting. So you can commute, so that people who aren't in, in chat until like, cause a lot of people, they don't actually join chat until like the battle goes. And some people don't even do that. Um, so that's, that's kind of cool to communicate with people, but like preset, what's it? That's funky. So I can tell people when it's the last battle. Nice. All right. Um, that's new. There was an update right before I started streaming, that's why I'm late. So that's really fun. Cool! That's awesome! Today we're leveling. Today we're leveling. We're leveling a character. And that character is an Alliance Demon Hunter. Because I'm switching mains. I'm changing. I've been I've been doing all this reading and Fire Mage at the moment is just look. I'm sure you've all seen the charts on what's it what's it called? Wowhead. And even the top ranking mage is like halfway down the charts. It's it's horrible. And I'm just I'm done. I'm sick of it. This way I can tank as well. So it doesn't matter, like everyone needs a tank. So like they'll always be and demon hunters are OP anyway. They've always been OP. Um, and clearly, Alliance is- I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> I was trying to say Alliance is the superior faction, but I just can't say it. Um, <laughs> when I realized that the 1st of April was a, uh, was a stream day, I'm like, I have to do something. I have to, otherwise everyone's going to make fun of me. Um, but I hate, I hate pranks that, or, or jokes that, uh, like call people out or like they you know cause cause stress or there are just there are so many there are so many April Fool's jokes that I've seen that are just they miss the mark and I'm like how can I not throw a stream away and still have a funny and um and a couple uh, about a week ago actually I think I was on lots of painkillers at the time. Um, I was looking through my uh, my levels and like I have a few, I have a whole bunch of tunes that are 51, 52, 53. This one's 54. And I know that I'm having trouble killing some of the world bosses and stuff like that um, for uh, like world quests to get reputations up, to get alliance only mounts and blah, 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 blah. And I thought, well, it'd be really handy to have a level 60. And then I was like, wait a second. 
So, um, hi, here we are. But yes, I am switching factions, wink wink. If you are here and you know it's a joke, please do try your best to keep the joke going for new people as they join, because that will make it more fun. Good. Thank you, I appreciate you all. Ah, uh, um, where am I? We are doing this one. True main story quests. Uh, cool, anyway. Where are we going? Yori, well done on last. Dupe with first. Hello, Chaos. Uh, I'm, I've had quite a productive day. I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with what I've managed to get done today. I hope you can say the same. And Nick, hang on, let me just do one moment, please. This. By the, the sun. Hell, well. The font there, that's interesting. Um, thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. 18 months, my God. 18 months. Thank you for your support. Well done on second chaos. Well done on third Shiba. Hello, baby, for the horde. And of course, yes, for the Alliance. That is a thing that exists too. In the Jessident. I hope you like it, Yuri. I hope you like it. It is! It's a purple chair. And the eyes are a little bit shifted because the top of this is a different shape. The the actual shape of the chair is different. And so I had to make some adjustments. And so that's a thing. Yep. Uh, but yes, chair has had a facelift. Um, Chair has had a facelift. Slash has visited the hairdresser. Um, need a cheer out and come out. Yeah, but what would it do, Kaz? What would it do? Enjoy your lurk. Good morning, Grumpy. Hello. Drag and drop. What is drag and drop? Um. Oh, hello, nurse. Hey, Holy. Everything is very well, thank you. I'm glad you could make it. How are you going? I don't take long for leveling it. Sure turn. Oh, it is not. <laughs> it is not. Um, yeah, shush. Shush you. Um, uh, blinks. It's after 12 noon. Not everywhere it's not, dude. Not everywhere. Time zones exist. Uh, you finally got it. Took you long enough. <laughs> Checks the date indeed. Can you remember me what day it is for It's Friday. It's Friday, now the superior you tried. So I did, look, I was hoping I could keep it going for more than approximately two seconds, but apparently not. Um, I'm not, look. I'm a fantastic liar. I'm not a very good prankster. Uh, is OG chair now holding up the button of Jas? No, Jas has his own chair. <laughs> Jas has his own chair that is far, far newer by like four or five years newer than, than chair. Um, chair is currently sitting in the lounge room as like, I mean, I've got my, I've got a massive big L-shaped couch. It's like a four seater and connected to a three seat. It's huge. Uh, so Cher is kind of like sitting off to the side of that. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with Cher. Um, the, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Cher's old body. Uh, Cause Cher has a new body now. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'll figure something out. Um, drag and drop. Oh, drag and drop. Good. Got you. Understood. Hello, Josh. Chair finally has to take a break and watch some TV. Correct. Well. Well. I feel like I kind of did like a soul transplant, you know? So technically chair is still here. Um, but look. Alrighty. Learn about your leader's fate. What do you see? Um, no, I do want to do them all because you get a fair there bit of XP. No and I can just like let the things happen while I chat chat chat. So I'm I'm fine with doing you need only the ask. more. Um, oh, take the. Oh, yeah. Give me a. Give me a death gate, please. But yeah. How? How is everyone? What is happening? What's up? Ah, uh, something about the fact you were living before without even touching each other. This quest made me laugh. I was. It's all Nashita. All of it is Nashita. I think when I hit fifty, and I'm, I mean. No, not all of it. There was about maybe like three quarters of a level or so that came from um, Lovers in the Air as well. But uh, I think I think I did Najita quests until I couldn't get any more experience from. I think it capped out. 
Uh, and I'm actually gonna do threads. I'm gonna do threads because I'm 54 uh, and I don't need to worry about doing any dungeons or side. But I may not even get through all four zones worth of threads of fate before I hit 60. Um, but I have DFA here, and so I'm. And I've already actually done. I've done Bastion's Threads of Fate. So that quest is no longer in my list of uh, uh, incomplete quests. So, and I've also actually started Ardenwield's Threads of Fate. So I'm going to go do Maldraxxus and Revendreth. Uh, and then if I get through all of them, like both of those, and I still need more, then I'm going to go hit up Ardenwield. Um, uh, Camp Nanoramo has begun... So another 30k was the month of April for me. Ah, oh, right. Another I hunger and Jared needs to get home ASAP. Don't look a day over 30. Thank you. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. When the hell That'd be nice. You go oh, right. Okay. I'm like, because I am over 30. That's so I'm like, good. Uh, isn't NaNoWriMo... Uh, supposed to be in November. I could sense uh, well, it's national, um, oh, Camp Nano, okay, there you go. So, apparently one month of writing wasn't enough to get things actually done, so they've got more now. There you go, but I was like, yeah, because it's National Novel Writing Month, right? And you're supposed to technically start a new piece, like you're supposed to start a new... Uh, thing in in November, so maybe camp in April and July is designed so you can finish off whatever was started last year. Maybe I don't know. I don't. I'm shit at writing. It is not a thing that I can do. So like 22 max. You're so sweet, Barry. How are you? Have you got your panels? Did you get your nano leaf panels? Many versions. Writing month. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, can't be set your own goal, do whatever you want, finishing, rewriting, editing, etc. Oh, cool. That's really awesome. That's really awesome. But yeah, Barry, my uh, my, my chair arrived. Actually, it arrived yesterday, um, but I built it today. Because uh, I was bizarre yesterday. Bizarre. Uh, yes, yeah, so if Discord, I will. Give me a second. Uh, anything arrive yet? Uh, no, it's in the PO box. I did say yesterday because Jas couldn't go pick it up. Um, and he finishes work after the post office closes uh, now, which he never he used to finish earlier, so he could go like on the way home and pick it up. Um, but yeah, so we're going. I've also got I got a delivery card. The reason he didn't go this morning is because like I got a delivery card yesterday for a missed delivery to home. Um, so we're gonna go take that in tomorrow morning and get that and the and the hero box package. Uh, but it is there. It's there, but I haven't gone to get it yet. Um. Lose you. About writing. I would guess the opposite about you, fear. Um. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm really like. I used to I used to think I was awesome at writing and, and doing that kind of stuff. And then every time I would read stuff back, I would realize it read like a um a very young adult. Like I'm talking like I'm well, not even young adult, like preteen kinda. Like it was it it doesn't Whenever I've tried to write, it hasn't felt like it has come from the mind of a complex adult human. <laughs> Do you know? What, does that make sense? It's all. It's all very like, yeah, just not well written. Um, and that, but that's okay. I have plenty of other talents. Um, reading things aloud, I can do that really well. Uh, <laughs> talking, I'm very, very good at talking most of the time. Uh, like, nah, it's yeah. It um, the, the so when it comes to creativity, uh, in general. I have what I like to call creativity by numbers. So what that what I mean by that is that uh, I am really like give me a give me a recipe, I will figure it out. Even if I've never cooked with half the ingredients before, or I've never even seen them or know what they are, I will be able to make that recipe pretty much bang on. Um, if you give me a pattern 
for in in pretty much it, like knitting, crochet, sewing, like any sort of pattern, it, beading, uh, like jewelry making and stuff like that. Any kind of pattern, cross stitch, etc. Uh, did I say? I think I said say cross stitch. No, I think I said knitting. Anyway, any kind of pattern to make something, um, and I will. It, it may take me a while to get going, but once I get going, it will be awesome. Like, I will finish it, and it will be great, and it'll be exactly what the pattern intended for it to be, for the most part. I might miss a couple things here and there, especially if it's a new craft. Um, but for the most part, it'll be pretty bang on. Uh, but when it comes to coming up with things from scratch, from, like, a blank piece of paper to something, um, I cannot do it. It, it just, it just doesn't, my brain doesn't work like that. Uh, and that's, I'm, I'm totally fine with that because there are so many amazing, incredible people out here who are just phenomenal. Um, but yeah, I cannot, I'm, uh, <laughs> so like we did a, uh, you killed them. I was going to free them. Um, we did a, a Twitch partner meetup thing on, on, uh, via Zoom a while back and it was a paint and sip. Um, and so we were, we were sent blank canvases and a little thing with a bunch of different colors, but they, they gave us instructions step by step on how to create, like it was Picasso inspired works. That's how I met Barry, um, which is awesome. Uh, and I like, I'm so pleased I got involved with that. It was just the bestest fun. Um, and I've got my artwork, uh, like sitting up on a, on a shelf in, uh, in the lounge room, but, um, they they kind of they walked us through step by step they're like you know pick a light color dilute it with some more white and then sketch out a rough shape of a head and of this and now now draw a line through the middle of that to kind of separate it um because we're going to have the way that picasso works is you're going to have different parts of the face like looking in different directions so maybe you've got an eye that faces forward but the nose goes that way and then there's another eye that goes that way like so explaining exactly like how to and so that to me was by numbers, even though it was a blank canvas and it wasn't literally paint by numbers, it was still like I was taught step by step how to, so I had an instruction manual, I had, uh, I had a recipe on how to create this particular type of painting, so that worked. Uh, but yeah, it's um, when it comes to stuff from scratch, nah, I suck. Uh, he's a level two chef confirmed. <laughs> what? What is the, get all my talent from, oh, level two, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I get all my talent from Mother Berry. Aww. My, my mum is just such a, oh god, she's a fucking angel, I swear to god. Um, but, I, I, <sighs> if I could have half of her patience, it would be really nice. No Although I'm getting there, I'm definitely, I'm definitely improving. Um, but yeah, yeah. So there you go. Interesting fact about me, Holly. Oh, excuse me. I do love creating, though. It's honest to God, one of my absolute most favorite things to do. Um. I have entirely too many hobbies. Uh, I've got, like, you know, I've got the knitting, I've got, God, how many knitting needles. Uh, I inherited my grandmother's knitting kit, actually, that she made her, like, she sewed a, a like, a wraparound thing and, um, and had all of her needles and a couple of balls of wool and stuff still in there when she passed. Uh, so I've inherited all of that, which I'm trying to think of something I can do with the wool. Um, that can honor her. Um, I, I just, I, pfft no idea um but yeah so i've got i've got knitting needles i've got a bunch of crochet hooks i've got entirely too many balls of yarn <laughs> um i've got uh, i actually have run out of space in my storage containers for my uh for my cross stitch thread uh which is why i've got a new box on my throne wish list um because i've, I've run out of space in in my current boxes and so i need a new one um so i've put it on my wish list uh I've got 
a massive box full of like beading supplies and jewelry findings. And so the find uh, when they say a jewelry finding, it means like the clasp on a bracelet or the hooks for an earring uh, or the stud, like the backing for the for an earring. So, like those are what they that that's what they refer to as the findings. So I've got tons of findings. I've got tons of beads and threading materials and and all of this shit. Um, <laughs> So many Delica seed beads, Delica brand seed beads, my god, my god. Um, so, if anyone was ever to send me, like, if, if, if you've seen something and gone, oh, that'd be so cool, like, fear, I'd love that. Oh, but I don't know if she, if it's a craft kit, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As long as I can do it at my desk and do it on stream, like, hell yeah. Like, any craft kit, my god. As long as I don't make too much of a mess. I have carpet and it's a rental, but uh, <laughs> it just, yeah, I have, I have entirely too many hobbies. I'm not a very creative individual lacking in many of those areas, including creative writing. I've seen some of the stuff you can make. It's very impressive. Oh, absolutely. It's, um, it's so much fun. Just like going through it, like, and th this is the big thing. Like so many craft kits and stuff are just ridiculously expensive. They're massive, like, and you look at it and go, oh, good lord, that's overpriced. Um, and you, oh, I could, I could buy a ready-made object like that for so much cheaper, and you can. But when it comes to a craft kit, you're not just paying, oh, it's yellow, what am I doing? Um, you're not just paying for the finished object that you're going to make. You're also paying for the hours, potentially, of entertainment that you'll be getting from creating it yourself. So, yeah, make sure you think of it that, like, when, if you're looking at craft kits and going, oh, Think about it that way. If it's going to take you five hours to do, like you're paying for five hours worth, so like two movies worth of entertainment plus a finished item. So, yeah. It's good fun. I love making stuff. Like Lego! Ah! Yep, that's great. Ah, uh, surely if you're being too into streaming, you may need to get the rotation learnt. Time to move away from JSA. Look, I know. Ooh, what rotation? Good question. I have no idea. I feel like once I get to 60, um, I'll, I'll do the whole, like, I'll go and do my searching on, on Wowhead. I'll read the guides about gearing and, and how, like, your rotation should be using and what legendaries and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I'll get all that stuff sorted once I get there. Um, this will just make it easier to level while I'm talking to you guys. Uh, and then I can focus on that stuff later. Oh, there are three buttons. There are apparently three buttons. I am in, uh, in Vengeance. No. Have, have I? Vengeance. I'm in Vengeance spec. Tanking. Good. I got it right. Some mirror images behind to keep them distracted. No time for the illusion. Wish I could do that with my mirrors. Hurry. Well, I can't anymore, I guess. There's a cave just around the bend. With any luck, we can that? reach it before they notice. Let's hope so. Our captors won't be pleased you managed to slip past them again. You will not evade our grasp, mortals. Well, there goes our luck. Knights, secure the cave. We'll hold off these speeds. So much for remaining unnoticed. Let's hurry. What did Thrall mean by slip past them again? I've escaped before. Indeed. I've broken free countless times. Only to end up back in a cage. I've hidden inside <clears> this <throat> cave before. We can't stay long. Be nice to have another 60, honestly. Another ambush. Bring them down. Yet another tune to farm all those mounts and stuff on. Lord Admiral, before we found you. Did you see any sign of the night glory? Taranda, here. No, I have not. She leapt into the rift just ahead of ah. us. She vowed to find Sylvanas Windrunner. Here you go. At any cost. Shit, hang on. Okay. That is troubling. You're running An off without me. The ritual infused her with incredible power. There you go. It may be growing beyond her ability. But I fixed the camera and stuff, but I couldn't see that to fix it. <laughs> 
My bad. Thank you so much for bringing that to my attention. Ding! 55! The troops. Well, you've reminded me to fix the thing as well, dude. Because now, now you will be reminded to place troops. Because you'll see the thing on the screen and go, oh! very interesting emails today. I haven't checked my emails. Like, I mean, I get my pings on my phone for the email. So if, I saw, if I've seen something in the last couple of weeks come up that's looked really important, I've kind of jumped in and, and answered it. Um, but today I started you. actually cleaning out my inbox properly. And uh, when you first arrived, it was quite interesting. I wasn't sure if you were even real. Or if it's you were just another illusion meant to torment us. I was beginning few, uh, to lose hope that I'd see anyone from our world. Interesting opportunities. I will do what I can. I know what must be done. Very well. And <laughs> none of them were Raid Shadow Legends. Denizens call this realm. I feel like I need to, uh, gather, like, reach out to them and ask for a partnership foul, just to, to check the box. Souls that ever existed. Something has changed. Pure, noble souls are being held captive here as well. They cry out in torment. Indeed. And one of their tormentors. So, any management actively don't manage. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, I, I have to. I. I can't. The shades whisper I, some <laughs> I can't. The jailer rules this realm. We know little about him, but it's clear he has taken a special interest in us. He has personally um, seen our There was a point where I it was quite bad like uh, like I'm talking maybe a, close to a year ago now. Um, when I was like, okay, I need to start properly checking my emails because I'm starting to get things. This was when, um, when I was doing, uh, Clash of the Creator. Because around now is when Clash of the Creator started a year ago. Holy cow. Um, and when I was participating in that, I was starting to get, like, emails from people wanting to do stuff, like collabs and partners, like all that kind of, you know, opportunities and things like that. And so, um, I realized I had to start making sure I managed it properly so I didn't miss anything important. Because me, like at this stage now, if I, if I miss an email, there's a chance that I'm missing out on a few hundred bucks. And that's a, that's a lot of money. Uh, so I, I, can't, I have to, like, it's, if I don't, I'm gonna not be able to go full time someday. Um, so the first thing that I did, I, I sat down and I spent a good few hours just clearing out what I actually had at the time. Every single time I came across a mailing list, I unsubscribed. Every time every single mailing list. I figured if I want to add myself to a mailing list again in future, what I can do that, but I don't need them right now. What I need is to have less things coming in, fewer things coming in so I can get it down to zero. Um, and I use Gmail. So uh, unfortunately I don't have a bunch of awesome folders and things that I can put stuff in like I do. Cause I've got my work emails where, you know, I action something and then I can file it. Cause you know, keeping the paper trails and stuff, but um, Gmail doesn't really work so well that way it, it I don't know it I've in the past I've had any like issues where the folders have just like fucked out and dropped hundreds of emails into my inbox and I'm like this is not what I wanted what are you doing um so like I'll go through stuff I'll respond to it um if it's something that I want to chase up like I'm like oh this sounds like a really really good opportunity I want to make sure that I actually like I want to make sure that I follow this up in case they've forgotten about me, then I'll star it and then jump to the next email. But if it's not, if I'm like, sure, you know, yeah, let me know, let me know what you think. 
Um, if I don't really care if they get back to me or not, then I just delete the email. And if they get back to me, then I have another prompt. If they don't, oh well. I'm, uh, and then, yeah, just going through the next one, next one, next one, next one. And if I get, if I have an email that's like, this thing is going to happen on this day, but I don't need to respond to it. There's no, like, I don't have to wait until that day and then take some action and let them know. Because I've got, I've got one, for example, um, today, uh, I have in a, just under a week, I have a deliverable. Um, and so deliverables are like when you, when you sign a contract, it's like, this is what the, you know, you're, the, we're going to promote a product. And these are your deliverables. You have to make a social media post. You have to retweet this thing. You have to show it on stream. Those are those are my deliverables. Um, so I have a deliverable coming up in just under a week. Um, but I have to do the thing. I then have to take a screenshot of it and send it through so that I can get paid. Because it's part of my contract. It wasn't just film the thing and send it through. I also had to actually share the thing on the socials kind of thing. Um, so that one, because I have to send something back, I've hit it with a star and then gone to the next email sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, the, when it's that big a number, it's incredibly intimidating and it does take time to sort through it. But the important thing to remember is even if you only have half an hour to sit there and clear out some emails, you're going to take it from 10,000 to maybe 9,000 or 9,500. Like that's, that's a, that's a big difference. It's 500 emails dealt with. If you can't sit down and do it all in one sitting, make sure you're doing it in like, uh, like make sure you're getting through it. And you don't have to deal with the oldest first or any of that. Like, honestly, if you've got 10,000 emails, the oldest ones, <laughs> you're not going to need them anymore. Um, <laughs> you ain't gonna need them. The other option, the other thing is, like, if you are getting a mailing list, let's say, like, I had a, what was I, what mailing list was I on? Colourpop. Colourpop's a good one. Um, because they send, like, an email almost every day. Um, so I had, like, a ton of Colourpop emails. So instead of, like, just deleting them when I came across it, I typed in Colourpop. I clicked in the first one, unsubscribed, went back, clicked, you know, select all, and then just scanned through all the subject lines to make sure they were all coming from the same place. It wasn't some, someone, like, I, you know, I'd spoken to them and they'd asked, oh, what were you wearing on a particular day? And I told them, oh, I was wearing Colourpop, but I still need to handle that later. Like, just, just checking that it's all actually mailing list stuff and then delete all and then do the next page and check all the subject lines and then delete that and etc. Like, you can do massive chunks really quickly, really quickly. By doing stuff like that. Um, it's sort of bad. I should really fix it. Work emails. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, work emails. They only sit in my inbox if I still have to action them. So we use Outlook at work. Uh, if I get an email, I, I do what needs to be done. If it's like a reply or whatever, or I actually have to, you know, like, oh, could you do this in this program? I can go and do that in that program and then go, you know, done. And then I file it. If it's something, for example, um, I'm chasing someone up for payroll information. Like I'm missing a piece of information I need from them. So I email them and then I flag that email. I flag that email so it appears in my to-do list, but then I file it. So that when it comes, so I, you know, I follow it up in a week, set the, set the flag date for like a week. So then when it comes up into my today, I can click it, it will open up the email for me and I can hit reply and say, hey, have you managed to grab this for me yet? Pop it away and then move the flag to the next week. And then, do you know what I mean? So that kind of thing. Um, but that way it's not in my inbox. And then stuff that is like, it, ha it hasn't even been done yet. Like there is still an actionable item in that email that it has to be done as soon as possible. Not like you got to wait for three weeks. If, it, if it's, oh, could you do this thing three weeks from now? Then I'll put a flag for three weeks and file it. But if it's something that I need to do as soon as I can, but it's not a super high priority, then I'll leave it there as the reminder to do it. Um, but yeah, most of the time my inboxes are empty. Uh, as empty as they can be because that's how my brain functions best. But of course, that's just my system. Everyone operates just a little bit differently. And so what works for me might not work for you, but uh, I would definitely, it, it honestly just takes such a load off. 
Oh, I can't mount on this. Wait, what? Oh, right, because the, in the intro you can't mount, even though I've got it unlocked. Gotcha. I forgot about that. Uh, Henry Campbell missed a call about Man of Steel because he was playing well. I know, I know. How freaking hilarious is that? How hilarious. Snazzling I know, right? He's beautiful. He has a, has had a, his visit to, well, it's a facelift and a, and a hairdresser appointment, I reckon. It is one you have to do it by itself. It needs a friend. Oh, it's probably some kind of strategy. Oh, it's because of Balloon Buster. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, that makes sense. Oh, unsubscribe is a great tip. I need to do that. Yes, because even, like, just remember, if you unsubscribe, you can still resubscribe later. Yeah. Unsubscribing is a, yeah, it'll it'll cut your new emails down by, like, so much. Control over my Gmail, Gmail workout. Look, Gmail is just unbridled chaos. I mean, you can. There's no reason you can't. Like, literally no reason why you can't have that same amount of cleanliness in your... in both inboxes. I've got three inboxes that I manage. And they're all about... Well, okay, no, my personal one is a trash heap at the moment because I haven't checked it in, like, a month. Um, except for important emails that come through. Uh, my work email I started working through today and it's already a lot cleaner. Uh, but Sorry, my, my like, um, stream email. But um, my, my work email is perfection. Always. Uh, so they could, I just can't be asked to get to look again. I also don't use it for work at all. Do you use your email address at all? For anything? Yeah. Like, what emails are coming through to your personal address? Is it all mailing lists? Unsubscribe. I don't really, yeah, exactly. So you should, if, if you don't use it for much, except for like, you know, getting Officeworks to email you a receipt or something for tax purposes, obviously, you know, that, but if, if you don't use it for much at all, and the number is a clusterfuck, that, those two pieces of information don't make sense together. You are subscribed to too many mailing lists. Uh, Apro, Martin, Fade, and Loza, congratulations to all of you on your bonus sheet. Uh, oh, it's a boss fight. Boss fight, attack on Kaiju. I am happy with the search functions and in Gmail, so I rarely delete emails. Yeah, I, um, I lose stuff too easily. Like, I forget that I need to search for something to action it. I need it there as the reminder that I need to do this now. Um, yeah, I need to be able to see it right there. But again, like, that's me. You know, everyone, everyone's going to function just a touch differently when it comes to this stuff. We cannot let the world... You won't succeed. <sighs> Such a narrow vision. You disappoint me. A just cause is always worth fighting for. Right. Locate the teleport pad. <clears throat> I wonder if I can actually get to 60 today. That would make me really happy. I mean, we've got a six hour stream. I started at 54. That's a level an hour. I've already done 54, so I've got 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59 left to do. It, it could be a thing. I could have another 60 today. <clears throat> That'd be nice. Workers archive policies in place gets moved from the extra archive after a year. Just search those two places and looking for any mail. Fair. Fair. Um, yeah, I have, uh, because my, my inbox at work is technically a shared inbox. Um, like, technically. Uh, I, it's mine, I manage it, but my, my manager also has access to it, um, in case, like, in case I have a day off or something like that, because that's where all invoices and stuff go, are sent to and whatnot, so it's all, um, yeah, it's, uh, it needs to be shared in that way. Um, so I have, like, invoices, payroll, remittance advices, uh, etc. Et like, I have folders, so I can drag it out of my inbox. I can still search from, like, I can search all of that, all of those from anywhere, but it just, it means that if my manager needs to grab something, they can kind of narrow down their search a little bit. Um, but 
also means that they can have a look at my inbox and see, oh, she's got a few things on her plate that she still needs to get done. Or, oh, she she's her inbox is clean, she's she's up to date. If I need help with this thing I'm doing, I can ask her, that kind of stuff. Like it just it help it acts as that little extra bit of communication. Um so yeah, my uh I, I love having an empty inbox. And of course we still have archive policies and stuff like that in place as well. Um it just archives the folders rather than my inbox. Um mm, mouse. Yeah, at that point you can probably just like select all and delete, to be honest, but um just in case, I probably wouldn't. Uh but yeah, you have entirely too many mailing lists. Uh Yes! Community goal, there is! I did I instead of forgetting to click the button. Um, I just, I launched it before stream. So there is, there is a community goal. It looks, it's this, there you go. So there's your, uh, there's your schedule for the month. Uh, it's all wow. It's all wow. Uh, but this week's goal is, uh, pet collecting. So, if successful, uh, next month in May, we will have a stream that is dedicated to farming, to collecting pets. So that I can, uh, climb those rankings. On data for Azeroth. Uh, I haven't done any pet collecting in Xerath Mortis yet. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of other bits and pieces. Like, I've got the um, the weekly dungeons and stuff like that that I obviously still need tokens from to purchase those pets. Um, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a time. So, if that's something you'd like to see. If that is something that you would like to see. Uh, contribute your embers by clicking the little button underneath chat then clicking the banner that says pet collecting stream and you can contribute up to 2000 per stream we've got two streams friday today and then we have sunday so you'll have two chances to contribute um yes still uh happy friday happy friday jay Good evening, Dunno. How are you feeling? Good. I'm very well, thank you. How are you today? Nice to see you, I know, right? <laughs> oh, dearie me. Uh, energy shaking boxes. What advice do you have for when they micromanage it? Uh, they don't. Uh, I've, um, look, I, I honestly have never had a, a manager who has been I've never had a manager who has had access to my inbox micromanage me. Um, I have had micromanaging managers, um, but never when it comes to my inbox. So for example, if I, when I had my week off, I had two days off work. Um, my day job, I only worked two days a week. So when I had those two days off to recover from surgery, when I came back on like this Tuesday, just passed, nothing had been moved out of my, out of my inbox, nothing. Um, a whole bunch of stuff had been marked red, uh, and stuff that they had actioned, stuff that they had done, had been flagged and then ticked off. So I could see at a glance which emails they had done. Uh, I still opened the emails and had a read of them just to see what had been done in case it came up later. Um, but I, I checked it and then I filed it. Um, but they didn't move anything. They didn't, so, so that I could see what they had done and what still needed to be done. Um... So yeah, it was it was really really good. Um, in terms of micromanaging managers, I've had one who was honestly I'd probably say borderline micromanagey. Um, not not a proper like always looking at. I mean, he was looking over my shoulder a fair bit, uh, but not to the extent that he was like staring at what I was doing. No, you should do like this. You should. Do. It was never it was never that bad. Um, but it was very much like, uh, they had kind of a, a lack of awareness of what I was doing and when. Like, I, I had a list of responsibilities and the person previous to me did things a little bit differently. Um, but I kind of set myself up tasks. So instead of like, um, uh, so let, for an example, I managed the fleet of vehicles. 50, 50 vehicles I managed. Uh, and they had uh, vehicle check sheets that needed to be completed once a week. 
Uh, it didn't matter when during the week they did them. It wasn't like it has to be done every Tuesday or something like that. It was just it had to be done once a week. A lot of, yes, quite a few of them would do it on a Sunday and then a Monday and then not do it for two weeks. But that's not, like, they were told not to. I'm, I just, I would print a report and then that would be that kind of thing. Um, but there were also a whole crap ton of other paperwork. A whole crap ton of other paperwork, like PPE issuing and um, uh, timesheets and, and requests for this, that and the other. Like, just tons of paper. I had two, you know those trays? I had two of those just for my inbox because it was just too much stuff. Um, I had too many papers. So um, what I ended up doing, what, what my predecessor did was that when they got every, every day, they just grab the stack of paperwork and work their way through it all and do it all every day. And that took so much time because constantly having to chop and change stuff. Like this one's a vehicle thing, but then this one's payroll stuff, and then this one's PPE, and then this one's payroll. And so having to constantly change tasks, like what they were doing, it was a nightmare. They got nothing done uh, except the paperwork. So I shuffled things. The, the The first thing I would do every day every day would be grab my stack of paper out of the inbox and sort it. I had a bunch of other trays, and so I'd sort it. And then once a week, I did vehicle stuff. Once a week. Once a week. Um, and so he would kind of like, he'd sort of ask, oh, oh when, when are you doing, when are you doing the, the vehicle paperwork? Cause I need information on this. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, like, cause you know, I've got 50, fi only 50 sheets. Cause I'm getting them once a week. So I had a maximum of 50 so I could grab my little thing and I could flip through and find the, um, the rego number he was looking for or whatever. Um, but they only actually went into the, like, so data was available all the time, but it was only in the spreadsheet once a week. Um, so it would kind of, it would be a little bit like, oh, why haven't you done this yet? Because I do that on Thursdays. It's Tuesday. Like, do you know that kind of thing? Uh, and then also a whole, like, I have this thing that needs to be done. Could you do this for me? would never be free of those shackles. We should Greetings, move quickly. And then 20 minutes later, it's like, oh, could you, could you do this for me? And then 10 minutes after that, it's, have you done that first thing I asked you about? It's like, so what I took to doing, um, what I ended up doing every single time, he said to me, can you do blah? I'd say, okay, sure. Absolutely, I can. I'm currently doing this. Do you want me to finish this first or do what you're asking me to do first? And he'd kind of... And then he'd tell me, or he'd just be like, no, drop what you're doing and do this, this is important. And then he'd come to me 10 minutes later and be like, oh, I need you to do this real quick. And I go, hang on, I'm, I'm in the middle of doing this thing that you asked me to do before. Do you want me to finish that first? Or do you want me to do what you're asking me to do now? Oh, that's right, yeah, no, do the first task. Do that one and then do this one after. So like, I'd put the decision back on him rather than me having to prioritize his work. That worked phenomenally well. It worked re every single time. So if he said, oh no, do it after, I'd make a note of it and then continue what I was doing. And then when that was finished, I'd go straight on to that. But uh, yeah, huh. that's good fun times. How do we leave this place? Uh, it's good to hear him going, okay, wonderful. Oh, okay, it's better than shit. I'm glad to hear that, Dunno. Oh, oh, I can't find the memory people can't spend the first part of the day just planning like that. The manager asked me earlier this week how I managed to get my reports done before them consistently. It just comes down to spending that first hour or so plotting. Yeah, and yeah, sometimes it does take an hour. Like, um. When, like, what I would do when with that, um, I would, the first thing I'd do is check my emails. I'd clear my inbox because quite often the paperwork I was getting in my inbox, some of it would just be delivered, but some of it would be emailed to me. So I could go through and print that and then file it and then print that and file it. And then I'd go to the printer and hit go on all my, because we had like that personal printing thing. You had to put in a pen to get all your print jobs to go. So I'd print everything off, take it back, put it on top of the inbox and then grab the whole thing and sort the lot. Um, it but yeah, it's planning out your day, no matter what it is, whether it's personal or work or whatever, planning out your day as, as the first thing you do in the morning, um, is, is really helpful. Really, really helpful. Uh, first of all, sometimes it's interrupted before I even get to sit down. Yeah, that's fine. Look, I, I have that as well. I have that as well. Um, if you have, like, if, if your PC is always on, I don't know if, if it is, I don't, like, some um, companies have to, you know, you have to turn PCs off overnight and stuff like that. But if you don't have your PC on all the time, grab yourself a notepad, stick it on your desk, 
And if you get interrupted and if someone comes to you and says, hey, we're about da 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 and it's, you jot it down. Yep, I'll get to it. And then that can factor into your planning when you get to do that. Um, it's, it is a lot of boundary setting, unfortunately. Uh, especially like when you're working in an office and you have like open doors and or things like that, being interrupted constantly like that, it is a matter of having to set boundaries and say this is when I'm doing like you know if if, if you have an office that has a door on it and you're able to close it and you're able to get your manager particularly to respect oh, that the door is closed that means I'm, I'm busy um, or, or block the hour out on your calendar and just say busy or whatever um, so that you can sit down and get your planning done so that you can be more effective for the rest of the day because if you if you don't have that chance to sort all that stuff out like how do they expect you to get the mountain of work they've assigned you done it's it's an efficiency thing give me this time to sort myself out and it will pay itself back in multiple you know this this task you know that the tasks you have set me take seven hours a day if you give me one of those hours back to sort myself out, those seven hours worth of tasks probably get done in four, maybe five. And that's a couple of extra hours each day that you can take to work on longer term projects that are, you know, just like maintenance stuff and, and whatnot. Um, at least that's what I've found. Like working from home, stuff that would literally take me an entire day to do now takes me three hours. Not even kidding. It's just ridiculous. Because I'm not being interrupted all the time. It's very nice. A crossbow? Hm. Um I prefer to strike my enemies face to face. I suppose it's Uh bad management is the worst being on the brunt of so many bad managers. Oh fire, I'm so sorry to hear that. That is trash. Oh gosh. Well I hope that I hope that we're whatever you're doing at the moment, uh the people above you uh, are not bad. <laughs> Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day and hope you enjoy your time with us. Uh, I feel that my team is all new hires. I get slapped with questions a the moment. They know I'm there. Ah, you block it out. You say, you know, I'm not available for 30 minutes. It won't, like, half an hour won't make things. that much of a difference in terms of those little later. questions and stuff. What were they doing in the 10 minutes before you arrived? They, they have to... They can, can they can keep doing that for another thirty minutes while you get your head on, like, and if they can't, then they might be in the wrong business because it's a lot of thinking on your feet. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, howdy, Borsh. Hello. Just in case this isn't here for a bit. Thank you, Kaz. Thank you. I will do those in just a moment. Uh, I love from home. I love from missing calendar. Yeah. Hello, Boot. Welcome back. How are you going? But yeah, I'm uh, I am very grateful that I'm down to, to two days a week for the day job. Um, I I I st I'm live for more hours than I'm working my day job, and that is that is something that I am incredibly thankful for and incredibly grateful for. Um, because I know that not everyone gets a chance to try it, even you know even try that for a bit. Um, and here I am living it, which is pretty freaking amazing. Uh, not enough. But yeah, it's, um, I'm also very lucky to work for an amazing company and an amazing group of people uh, who are all just so supportive and respectful and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's, I know well the, um, especially being the person in the office who knows how to do all the things. The person in the office who has been shown to have initiative and even if you don't know something you know how to find how to you know what i mean you know you know how to go and get that information um this it's the dagger. Bane's blood still stains yeah it's bare setting boundaries is absolutely a skill and it needs to be practiced it's not just something people are magically born with the ability to do um, some people do find it more difficult to set boundaries because of, you know, how their, their life has worked or how they've been pressured in the past and, and things like that, for sure. Um, and some people find it very easy because, for whatever reason, like, you know, 
Some people are very self-important, and so they don't, they genuinely don't feel like anyone else's issues are going to be nearly as important as theirs. And so they find it really easy to just say no. Um, but also, people have built up that skill. It, so I, I differentiate between the words talent and skill. A talent is something that you kind of intrinsically born with. Like someone is so so talented, they're, they're you know, they they have this innate ability to do this and they've picked it up so easily and blah 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 um, and then a skill is something you have to work out it's not something that most people are born with innately uh, but it is able to be learned and that's the important part anyone can learn some people will find it more difficult to learn some people will find it less difficult to learn but everyone is able to learn how to set boundaries I what highly I recommend be prepared for what uh, picking that up comes. with a couple skill points. Ah, uh, most rules here yeah, be the case in the call center one agent trying to find an answer for too long means calls and waiting down and calls. But if it they're usually easy answers don't impact me too much. Well, if they're easy answers, they should be able to find them on the uh, thingamajig. I'm sure there's like a knowledge base that they can consult um, if they are easy questions. Uh, need to train their Google foo. Let the jailer take you. But yeah, like I think he's coming too. Bane, can you unless there's an emergency and the prior manager has to dart immediately upon your arrival. There's usually going to be a little bit of overlap where they can still cover things towards the end of their shift while you set yourself up for yours. It's why in call centers they often have that kind of overlap for handover and for um, for, for allowing the, the person arriving to wrap their head around what's going on and in a good workplace, it's more than 12 seconds. <laughs> At least that's been the case in all the uh, call centers I've worked in. We seek a waystone located beyond the cauldron. Have you seen it? I spotted an I keep trying to mount because I'm an empty. ancient stone upon the high ridge. It did not seem important. The jailer's forces pay it little heed. What do you think it is? We cannot let the way out fall of to here. darkness. We hope. Become invisible. The jailer's Go. forces seem endless. Come on. There is no way we can fight through them all. Jaina, can you hide us from their sight? My spell will get us past most of his guards, but there will likely be some. Here we go. <clears throat> Hydrate's complete. We can't afford to draw their attention. Oh, sniffle. Careful. These eyes can see through my spell. One of my stitches has come loose. Um, has come, like, out com completely. Um, but I've got stitches in my gum from my, uh, my dental surgery I had a couple weeks ago. And, uh, one of them has come free entirely, but the other ones, uh, there's two other ones, I think. It feels like two. They're really loose. Really, really loose stitches. Um, they're dissolvable, so eventually they'll just kind of come free and it'll be fine. Um, but, like, oh, I keep playing with them with my tongue because they're so frustrating. Every time, every so often one of them will get between, like, the top and bottom teeth and I'll bite and I'll be like, what the hell is this in my mouth? Something like this. Super awkward. Don't like it. I don't like it at all. 55. Oh, actually, do I have... Oh, uh, no, I think I upgraded my plate. Helium's. Yeah, I did. I could go and upgrade my leather ones as well. Look, In fact, I think on I the might. Because it'll definitely help things stone. die faster. We need to reach it before the jailer takes Maybe I go to Orobos and I'll go back to Fia and... Um, go and buy... Leather set. I kind of got the gold for it. Might drop me under three mil though. The waystone was said to be dormant, yet it seems to be reacting to our presence. I'll I just get that little bit of extra damage and stuff, and might uh, 
I don't think the stone is responding to us. I think it's responding to this <laughs> champion. It's just me. Sometimes we must. When the fight. jailer realizes our plan, he'll send all his forces against us. Our only chance is to keep them at bay long enough for the Waystone to fully charge. Every second counts. <clears throat> Threads means that everything will be scaled to my level, right? Because this stuff's all level 50, so it's dying pretty easily. Um, but threads will scale everything else up to 55, right? Hold the line! The waystone must finish charging! Endless armies before. We will never yield. That's super cool. Oh, thank you, Koalashon. Yes. I've started posting on social media again as of today. You may have noticed if you follow me. If you don't, I am just slightly upset and offended. <laughs> um But no, seriously. Uh I highly, highly recommend uh, if you would like to help support me and, and my endeavors in becoming a full-time streamer, uh, following me on Instagram. I know it's weird. I know it's weird, but um, Instagram is like the big one in terms of like sponsorships and stuff like that. Uh, the more followers you have, the more likely, first of all, that you are of getting those kind of sponsorships and the more they pay. Uh, which means that I can do things like pay my bills <laughs> or, or, you know, at the moment it'd be paying for my dentistry. Um, but yeah, I'm, what am I at? 923 followers on my log out here. And cool, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go uh, upgrade my heirlooms because I forgot to do that. So this is a demon hunter. So I've got in my 5050s spreadsheet, which is now my 5060s, uh, technically. Um, I've got an heirlooms tab. So I can see what items that class will use so that I am only up. So it was so that I could figure out how to upgrade the fewest items total to spend the least amount of gold. Um, uh, I wasn't here for the start. What's the story with the reroll slash leveling? She's a traitor. I am. I'm rerolling to an alliance demon hunter. I'm changing my main. So I got to level it because I can't have a main at bloody 54 or now 55. Uh, so I got to level it because uh, yeah, it works best when your your main is of max level for the expansion. She said an alliance with better. Yes. Which they are. Look, their buildings are just nicer and cleaner. They do a better job of maintenance. That was loud. That was a front door. Wow, color me surprised. I hate to see what date is it today. Hello. 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 I forgot that you wanted. God damn it, Phil. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Uh, how are you? One job. No, many Amongst jobs. Amongst many other jobs. I had many jobs today. How are you? Look at this. Um, their butt's hanging out of... Oh, wait. 
They're butts hanging out a solid two feet from oh, the freaking car park area. Yeah, so you emailed them, yeah? That's what oh, yeah. You're going to, yeah. Ridiculous. <sighs> That's pretty terrible. Yeah, they need to, like... Because people don't want to take their bikes, like, up the lifts into the storage cages and stuff like that. Like, but they'll, they'll happily walk them down the I stairs. Know. Considering that lift is still not working. No, they ride them down there like a car. <laughs> what? Why is that lazy? It's using a vehicle as a vehicle is intended to be used. It's after midday unfair? No, it's not. We're an international website here. <laughs> it's Getting like all the people in the Discord. And I am yeah. They're all like. It's not April Fools yet, it, and they're like, it is in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> yep, this is the beauty of having an international community. It's like, you're a den des denizen of the internet. April Fools technically last 48 hours now. Yep. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. What you doing? Aside from left shield. It's just weapon. Yep, okay, so I need upgrading the- oh, are you kidding? I can't pu purchase multiple? No. One. It's- Two. One of the most- Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then I need two weapons, I think. Yeah. One. Oh no, wait, actually. Might have already upgraded those for the area? No, I haven't. Why are you saying Stay what? a while and listen? That's a lot of armor kits. Yes. Trinkets, rings, neck. They don't provide bonuses. Two. It means you have to replace them. Not like I don't have the gold. I just spent 60k. So it's 60k per set. Like if you're upgrading a full set of heirlooms from 49 to 59. It's uh, 60k. No, it's not. It's supposed to be a gold zinc. It's supposed to be for people who have too many fucking alts. That's the whole point. Yeah. Ooh, 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 I'm ooh. not a pan oh, again. Yeah. How is your no, rather sticky chair? It's not sticky. It made it's noises actually, as you were getting shut up. up. It's because my thighs are sticky, not the chair. Hmm. New chair. It's not bad. Eh? It's got overture embroidered on the front of it. Can you push the stream raiders button? Uh, it's middle on the right, rightmost. So the stream raiders on it. Look, guys, I'm a streamer. <laughs> oh, we haven't painted my that. eyes. I am the streamer. Yeah, good luck with that. Watch the viewer numbers tank. Sorry. No, I was supposed to have the pork for lunch. Not the pork. Yeah, the pork. The pork for lunch. Well, I had pizza. Well, I guess you get to have pork for dinner, and I have pizza for dinner. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Gets everything eaten. Yeah, and leftovers in the bin. You can have lipstick. Right oh, here. Oh my god. <laughs> Two. Why did none of you tell her that? Uh, it might be because when I- like, you're sitting below me, so you're looking up, but I'm facing, like, when I'm facing like that, maybe you can't see it. Yeah, Alright, can fine. I- Alright, I'll give the streamer back. Thank you. Here you go. Happy you back, guys. Good job, team. <laughs> Rather nice feeling. It Maybe is. Very yeah. Nice to touch. Soft. Like almost. It's almost fluffy. It's not fluffy, but it feels so soft. It's kind of. I cleaned my hands. It's clean. It's cleaner than they were. They were black. <laughs> How is your wrist with the owies? That's the wrong spot. Yeah, I know. Was there? There's more. Ooh. How yeah, is it now? Maybe you should keep it on here for a week and just, uh, see. Yeah. Just after now is only two hours into April Fool's. Here they go. She'll get your collection even on that tune. Huh? What do you mean my collection even on that tune? Sorry, Thor, what do you mean? Um, love you and you. <laughs> Just give us your best for your impression. He's probably there's probably a very good reason he didn't do that. Um, are they damp? I don't know. I didn't touch him. 
I poked him with my nails, but I didn't I didn't touch him. Uh, okay, boss battle. We did a lose. We need to do a win. Let's try again. Let's try again. I'm talking about buying upgrade tokens, wondering if you had already upgraded something. Yes. Um, I could have just gone and checked what the level was, but that would have involved scrolling, whereas I've got my spreadsheet open here and I can see that the names of the items are different, so I know I didn't upgrade that because I've only upgraded one particular set. Um, so yes, I could have also done that. That would have been another valid way of checking, um, but it was okay. Uh, all right, so we're going to place a Berserker because um, that's what I need. Okay, so we have Stained Shadowcraft Cap. Ooh, just... I DC'd. No? What? Oh, I made one. Okay, no, I don't want to make one. I want to upgrade one. <laughs> please and thank you. This one, please. Um, He dried them on the cutlery. <laughs> Assuming your weapon. Yeah, it was. It was weapons. Uh, hello, what was the surprise? I'm switching factions and mains. I'm leveling an alliance demon hunter, but I forgot to do my uh, heirlooms to get it there faster. So I have switched tunes just because this is where all the gold is currently. Um, Staying shadow grabs folders. There we go. So, yep, I'm rerolling to an alliance demon hunter. Uh, inherited cape of the Black Baron. And then stained shadowcraft tunic. Stained shadowcraft pantaloons. And then venerable Dalrin's sacred charge. Oh, why did I buy two? I I make two, but I only need to buy one. I am oh, the alliance. A noob. Uh, swift hand adjusts the same thing. I didn't need do that, but that's okay. In fact, I might have actually already upgraded this one. I have, that's fine. Uh, and then Admiral Taylor's loyalty ring. And then eternal will of the martyr. Cool, so I can sell some of these back. Cool. So I'm back over three k, uh, three mil. So I ended up spending. Have I earned some? Oh, I must have sold some gray stuff. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. But I got ten, fifteen, seventeen, fifty, uh, seventeen five hundred back. So I only ended up spending like what's that? Forty thousand, forty two thousand five hundred. Victory for Not bad. Sylvanas. No bad. All right. I'll forget. Um. To be changed, my guess was miles off. What was your guess? Sophia's taking the giraffe all this time. I was telling everyone this stream. I am entirely, I'm 5'3. I am too short to be a giraffe. But you are on the right track. I'm not actually re rolling. <laughs> I'm just doing a leveling stream because I can. Baby giraffe. <laughs> Come on, I'm a little- I'm, I may be clumsy, but I'm at least a little more stable than a baby giraffe on my feet. Child's giraffe. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, teenager giraffe. Love this. Baby draft do 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 do. Drafts are adorable. There they are. Actually, the point now, maybe by so that's what is an April Fool's joke. I'm sorry. Wait, hang on. Where is? It said I've turned in Threads of Fate, but I haven't. An 
agent of the Maw is How attacking did... Oribos. Defend the Arbiter. Okay, so don't log out there, apparently. It'll break your threads thing. Uh, Alright, so I need one of these. Oh, can't do all moving. Right, you have to actually create it again. Uh, this. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, doing threads because I'm already 55 <sighs> for day yep okay that's what we wanted date correct um just around six feet at birth sorry you're kidding oh my god that's amazing. She's right all and cute based on Google. I've concerns you ever going to a zoo. Maybe more zoo visits to learn etiquette. Potato is like a potato, but fateful. Correct! Good job, Jess. Good job. Maybe I should just like eat the pizza now. And like eat it slowly over the rest of the stream. Did you leave me like enough? Hear the words of the Arbiter. Choose your covenant. Ah, oh, right. Um, I think it's Night Fae I wanted to join. It's Night Fae because money. Speak, mortal. Okay, show me how I can help the Shadowlands. We are going to Maldraxxus. Battlegrounds. Aldraxis. What news do you bring? I will consider your words. Yep, all right, I am need food. I'll be back. Right. Pizza, yes, I do. It's all over my desk. <laughs> mm -hmm. You seen the WoW April Fool's Day joke? Uh, no, I wasn't aware that they'd released it yet because usually we have to wait until tomorrow to see it because of time zone releases and things like that. I didn't realize it was out already. Uh, I'll talk us first. Easy time, usually like half a bar a day for the first run. No. Oh, it's up now? Time to bug some raid. Um, where am I going? This way. Um, I am doing Maldraxxus because it's on my list of quests that are incomplete. Um, like my incomplete quests on Data for Azeroth. 
first one up is uh is uh now the Raxus. I've got to go all the way around here. I should find my glasses. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> How may I serve? May the purpose. Yeah, the radius is called a bakery. Bakeries have tasty things. They bloody well do. They bloody well do. We're going to a bakery tomorrow. There is yeast in pizza, especially when it's deep dish. Hmm. Um. Jess, can you add Mrs. Fields cookies to the list for tomorrow, please? I just remember that they exist. I haven't had cookies from there for a long time, and they're amazing. Supposed to be memorable. Where's Mrs. Fields and why are you giving her cookies? Um, Mrs. Fields cookies is a store. They're kind of like a um bakery slash cookie shop cafe type dealy. Um, one of my first jobs when I was younger um was working at one, and uh. If you think Subway's soft baked cookies are the shiz and amazingly well soft baked and all that, no, you're wrong. You're absolutely, you are like, you are so wrong and you don't even know you're wrong, but I feel sorry for you. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Fields cookies are the best cookies in Australia. No, no, like if, if you are, if you are looking for soft baked cookies, they do the best soft baked cookies in Australia. Far and away the best. <clears throat> we're taking her cookies. Well, we're paying for them, so there's still that. They're only in Australia. I have no idea. Um, that's a really good question. I know that they are in Australia, <laughs> um, but I don't know if they are international. I, I genuinely have no idea. Excuse me. I think the, um, I think it's called like Mrs. Fields Bakehouse or something, but we, everyone just calls it Mrs. Fields because there's nothing else. Like, <laughs> there's, there's nothing else that has that name, so. You can ask the Googles. Ah, oh, they're way too yum. They're amazing. I always get the nibbles. So they have like cookies that are like that sort of size. Um, but then they also do nibbles, which are about this big. So they're like mini cookies. So for the same amount of cookie, you can have all the flavors. Um, and they do like, you know, five for X, 10 for X, 15 for X, etc. for like packs of nibbles. Um, also good for kidlets. Um, but that's what I usually get because I am not good at choosing flavors. I have serious FOMO in like so on so many levels, um, and so I usually go and get the nibbles and just get like one of everything. Um, it's the best way to do it, in my opinion. But obviously, if you have allergies and stuff like that, be careful with those. And if you have a particular one that you really want, then you can just get a bigger cookie as well. It's probably more like it's it's probably more effective like dollars per pound of cookie or whatever. Um, to, to, to buy the bigger ones, but um, I prefer having all the different flavors. Mm 
Mm. Okay, he's taking me that extra step. Only eats off bakes, don't do dry food, I've never heard of them. Um, they might, they, look, they used to be, I feel like they used to be really prevalent, like a lot of them all over the place, um, when I was young, like young, young. But I do feel like as I've gotten older, I'm seeing fewer and fewer of them, but I know that there's one in the city in a food court, um, and there was one, uh, the one that I worked at, um, when I was young was also in a food court, so, um, yeah, just... Do the, do the Googles and see if there's one near you, but there might not be. I don't know how many of them are left. That was a great. Left without profit. Kidlets like children, but smaller. Yeah, sure. I like that. That's cute. Yeah, Mrs. Fields cookies are the fucking bomb. They also do like um, brownies and slices and things like that, but eh. And drinks. Like a cafe would do, like coffee and stuff like that, but um. Oh shit. Shit. I forgot. Um, they also do like cookie cakes. Like, like big cookies that have like icing on them with writing and things like that. They also make them heart shaped, which is super cute. Um, I didn't buy my item to bump my renown, is what I was oh knowing about. So I'm gonna go do that now. Mm, it's new up. Next time you're in Sydney, for whatever reason. <clears throat> oh. Next time you travel um, elsewhere to a different state, keep an eye out. Oh, yeah, confounds me. Why? It's just, yeah, it's not like... The idea is that it's a giant cookie for sharing. Kind of like a cupcake. It, like So, like, cookie is to cookie cake what cupcake is to cake. Does that make sense? Like, it's, it's you know, you have a cookie which is single serving sized, and then you have a cookie cake which is supposed to be shared. Um, but they also do them, like, heart shaped for Valentine's Day and stuff, which I think is really cute. And also they make banging cookies, so like, yes please. <laughs> I would absolutely take that and not share it at all. <laughs> and then I'd feel sick later and not have any regrets whatsoever. Mm. Mm -hmm. Giant cookie. I mean, I'm sure you could probably stack them with like layers between them to kind of make it like lasagna. But made of cookie. Does that make sense? This one. Love that it's only 500 gold. It's like so useful. <clears throat> I got a mount. Cool, back we go. The purpose reviews our way. Mmm, cooking lasagna to Instagram. Speaking of baked goods, boss makes the best, world's best raspberry filled chocolate cupcakes. They're to die for, I work for free. She made for those every week. Raspberry filled chocolate cupcakes. Okay, that sounds amazing and delicious. Explain. So, like, is it like a chocolate cupcake that's had like the top cut out of it and then like filled with raspberry jam and then like icing on top or is it like actual raspberries or is it like some kind of a like are the raspberries baked into the cupcake or like can i have all of the information please <laughs> i would very much like to live through you good afternoon sarah and i am well thank you very much for asking i hope you're the same excuse me Mm -hmm, the recipe, give her the recipe. No, 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 that's okay. I often, like, if it's if it's something they do every so often and all that, they might be quite protective of it and stuff. So that's that's totally okay. I can respect that. But I would like to know how they work. <clears throat> yeah, actual recipes have been pushed through a strainer thingy, not a cook, but I have the recipe and can share. Okay, in that case, yes, please. There is a food channel in Discord 
that's probably going to be the best place to put it. Now, Drax Threads of Fate leveling guide to complete side quests. Okay. Now, Draxus. Threads of Fate. Look at this. They even have a guide to walk you through completing the entirety of Threads of Fate. Amazing. That's some kind of genius. So again, I'm good best shit in my life. Do it. Post it in the Discord. Share it with everyone. We have a cupcake off. I'm kidding. Although... Hmm. It does sound like a coolie. You are correct. You look oddly hailed today. Pizza. The air was once rich with anima. Have you been keeping up with your rituals? How do you serve the Margrave? The cycle continues. You would make quite the suitable vessel. The cycle has brought you to me. <clears throat> Easy yield is, isn't a lot for the money. Yeah, it's kind of like the crafting kits we were talking about earlier, though. It's it's you're paying for the. Often you're paying for the experience as well, uh, of actually putting it all together. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, it can absolutely make all the bloody difference if you make something fresh for a particular recipe. Yeah. Quite the. I'll see if I want to break my diet, have a rest day, a reset day at the local buffet. Look, I think. Here's the thing with diets, right? It's not just about cutting down the calories and, and all that kind of stuff or setting your macros. It's also about learning better food choices. I I found when I when I broke AIP, there were a few days there that I ate some very stuff. Um, but I found that I was making healthier choices anyway. It wasn't AIP choices. I was still getting like rice and bread and stuff like that, but I was still I was making healthier choices. So I think you could absolutely still go to the buffet, but just not like, you, you know what your portion sizes are supposed to look like now. So, and considering it's a buffet and you're going to try a bit of everything, obviously, well, a bit of as many things as you can, you're going to have to, like, you, you're going to look at even smaller servings, like, you know, just a mouthful or two of each of the different options. Um, and, and maybe avoiding one or two of them that you kind of go, oh, that will really set me back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you'll be able to make better choices because of what you've been doing with your diet. I think it's okay to, to do that kind of stuff. Um, just not super, super frequently because obviously you want to still make progress. <clears throat> um, smash the seafood. Ah, oh, seafood at a buffet is like dangerous as hell though. Allergic or else I would, oh no. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I thought I dropped- oh, I did drop I thought I dropped something, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> Found it.
pizza, emergency pizza hut has pizza on a schnitzel now. Funky, I did. This is actually pizza hut pizza. <laughs> um, but yeah, the schnitzels, I don't know, they're so expensive and apparently they're quite small. Um, we just got like a two pizzas and two sides deal. Um, and it served us for two meals each, so uh, not bad. Mmm, they do indeed have, uh, I think they call them schnitzer. But yeah, I don't know, it just... I mean, good for those who are, I guess, looking for a higher protein offering. A higher protein pizza. Higher fat stuff. It's still breaded though, so it's not like it's keto or anything. Uh, stuff that's bulked with vegetables, like stir fries, and see a few stuff that treats it in, like marinade meats, yes. Stuff. Successfully posted a cupcake recipe in Discord. Amazing, Holly. Thank you very much. I've got to do groceries tomorrow, so maybe I might pick up some uh, cupcake ingredients. So we'll have them. To have those cheesy potato bite things. They were good. They did. We got them, actually. Um. They were disappointing. Um. I mean, they weren't bad. They, were, they weren't bad by any measure. But like, cause we had, we didn't want to get a drink cause we got the soda stream, but we had like plenty of drink. Um, so we wanted to get two things. We got a garlic bread, obviously. We didn't want to get a cheesy garlic bread because they're just so small and you had to pay extra for them. And I didn't want to get a vegan cheesy garlic bread because no thank you. Um, I'm sure it's great, but it's just no thank you. Um, and so it was like, do we want like chips or potato gems? All these these cheesy bite things and I'm like well let's get the cheesy bite things because it doesn't cost any extra and it's already you know two sides included in the thing and it was like I was expecting like mashed potato bites like really creamy and then like cheesy kind of mashed potato bites but they weren't it was grain like it was grained up like think like hash brown or potato gem so it was like little little chunks of potato and then right in the very middle, there was a squirt of like orange fake cheese stuff. And then it was crumbed and deep fried. And like they were, they, they weren't bad. They tasted nothing like cheese. There was no, there was no cheesy flavor at all. The cheese just kind of made it all sort of stick together a bit, I guess. But even then like hash browns stick together and they don't have cheese in them. So I don't know. I was, I was... A little bit disappointed, personally, but they well, they weren't terrible by any means. So um, yeah. Uh, Rima has April Fool's versus go. The class changes so much. They were soggy. Pop them in the air fryer to crisp them up a bit. These ones weren't soggy. They were just not super amazing. Um, yeah, I was expecting something like mashed potato with cheese through it. Um. But it just, it just wasn't Point that. Thy foe. That's okay. You pick up your legs, you have chicken days, you made with chicken up gummy bears in Corona and cream cheese in two minute noodles. Cream cheese in two minute noodles, I think I could get, because you'd get the, I mean, beer's disgusting. Um, but like, because it, it kind of, it adds that salty flavor to the broth and also makes the broth kind of creamy. Unless they're like, just putting hunks of cream cheese on the, the actual... No, but even then you're coating it, it's like coating it in a white sauce for the like cream cheese on the noodles, like just the noodles by themselves. The Psygon has brought you to I reckon me. that one makes quite a bit of sense. But um I was trying to fancify two minute noodles. But um Yeah. Why should we bring gummy bears like mayo and two minute noodles? So cream cheese like yeah, yeah, fair enough. Make bacon and cheese, potato croquettes, oh yum. Uh, I try it, but would never have thought of it. Oh no, absolutely. But now that it has been mentioned, it's yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Has your weapon found um, when I was in uni, I used to always keep a hand, uh, keep a bottle of um, and, like a, an actual bottle of sweet sticky soy up, on hand. It's like the when you get your me goreng, it's that um, the, the the soy sachet that's all sweet and thick, and but it's a bottle of that um, because I always wanted extra, so I, I got that. But that's not really an addition of anything. So, um, but yeah, my my claim to weirdest of stuff um, was a uh, sandwich when I was in uh, kindergarten, before I started primary school. Kindergarten, 
my, my, my favorite sandwich that I would get every day. Every day mum would send me to kindergarten with the sandwich that was um, peanut butter on one slice, jam on the other slice. I know it's PBJ, I, I know that. But then sultanas in the middle. For people that hate tomato sauce is surprising. Coriander level of hate? Interesting. Tomato sauce is, like, the, the cheesy bite things came with tomato sauce. Um, you know, it was like a tomato dipping sauce, and I'm like, oh yeah, so it's gonna be like some kind of relish or something. And then it said just tomato sauce on the top of it, and I'm like, this is gonna be ketchup. And so I peeled back the lid on this little tub, and it was, it was fucking ketchup. Um, <laughs> so, like, I can... Especially considering how much we get, like, tomato pastes and tomato purees and tomato relishes and stuff like that. We are definitely getting spoiled for fancier stuff, and, and tomato sauce or ketchup is very sweet and very basic and, ve like, like, it's very sweet and very salty all at the same time. So I can understand people not liking that, especially if they've got slightly more refined palates. Mm -hmm. Tomato sausage roll. Yeah, fair. But yeah, like, tomato sauce is good for, like, moistening up a food that is savoury. Because, like, tomato sausage rolls and stuff, they're delicious, but god damn, they're dry as sin. Um, Apro, Jay, Dunno, FPS, and Meaty, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Boss defeated! Uh, your new common cheat meal was crumb fish or fish fingers for cheeps and two-minute noodles mixed with mayo and peas, corn, carrots. Interesting. I hate fish fingers. Ever since I was a kid, I've hated fish fingers. Mum tried to do them a couple times and I was just like, no. No. I think that might be why I didn't really grow up having much fish. Because fish is hella expensive and you don't feed a kid expensive fish. In Brisbane, fish is bloody everywhere. <clears throat> Um, flying rogue. But down in, in Melbourne, not so much. It's a broken stir fry, but there's no frying involved. Place your units. Must the rabble be so needy? For you, I offer only May the fire. May I fires. tempt you with my words? Remember. <laughs> Why have you interrupted? Oh, excuse me. How do you serve the Margrave? I don't. Mm-hmm. Blood tusk skulls. Three to 
Jaeger. Thing. I'm like, why is it not Tudigar now? Tudigar! Alpha. Can we have like two of them stuck together? Please and thank you. Nice. Here we go. Just enough. I wouldn't know how to answer that one. Did they get Twelve out of All right, cross we go. We're all just meat for the wagon. What have you got to say? Um... Got my eye on you. What do you covet? That's all you Got a plan? There we go. Show my greatness! You didn't have me complete the other quest. <clears throat> the flask of team spirit. Oh, dear. Once rich with Anima, like it was dust. I think we're only twelve, okay. And we have fun one. Necrolord farming Sabriel for that mount. I'm guessing not many people have done it very much because it's not very high on my list. I don't think it's on the first page at all. Not in the top 40. Do I have under 200 again yet? Mounts to get or am I still above 200? Wait. 
Oh, I've got an- I've got- I'm like, a hundred? What the fuck? No, I had a filter on. Ah, <sighs> 227. No, I'm miles away. Miles away. Ah, uh, no specialists, because they're always flipping people off. That'd be my team's answer. Oh dear. Oh dear. Isn't he in prison? Something. I feel like people exaggerate that, that it was like domestic violence or something. He also did all the other ones, like the, the sham wow and all that kind of crap. Um, hello Ellie, happy April 1st. How are you doing? Let's see, yeah. Alright, can I catch them while they're running? I can! Awesome. Wonderful. Um, ooh, a stretch. I could do with one of those. Oh, feels good. Thank you, Kaz. Kniffy! Some meat on your bones, huh? I propose to at school. I and stuff don't have any appreciation for how kids with trauma brains respond to adults lying to them. Yeah. This is like. Um. I can't remember if you were here at the start of the stream when I was talking about um, what when I when I realized that um, that I was gonna have a stream today. Like, what can I do? I have to do something because you know people expect it, whatever. But like, what can I do that doesn't cause any harm? Like, that isn't a, that isn't that doesn't put somebody as the butt of a joke or or anything like that. Like, how? Especially not being self-deprecating either. So how do I how do I do that? Um, it's not it's not super easy. And like even um, I remember like 
because I, I used to follow like a ton of makeup brands on Instagram. I don't so much anymore to try to curb my spending, um, which has done, which has worked really well for me. But uh, I remember that every April you'd get like a ton of the of the gag posts by makeup brands, and almost every one of them every single bloody year would land. And people would be like, oh my god, this is actually a good idea. Why wouldn't you actually do- why is this a joke? Um, and then a year and a half later, they would come out with the product. Like, it's market research, essentially. April Fool's market research. Uh, see Tarte Icy Betch palette. Like, like bitch, except spelt with an A-E, except instead of an I. Um, and I remember there was one year, uh, there was a, a brand that was very well known for their eyelashes. And their April Fool's joke was... Um, actually, it might have been. Uh, actually, it might have been Too Faced, not Tarte. I'm thinking of like no, the Icy Betch is definitely Tarte. But um, basically, the the brand there was some connection between this brand and the, the owner's puppy dog or, or something like this, Please and they decided to do a, a joke, and they said that. They were going to bring out a new line of eyelashes, but for puppies. And they had uh, the the image that they put on Instagram was of a little uh, like a puppy, very obviously photoshopped, very obviously photoshopped to be wearing false eyelashes. Like I'm I'm pretty sure it was designed so that people couldn't say, "Oh my god, did you actually put lashes on a dog?" Like, you know what I mean? Like that's why it was like very clearly fake. Um. And still, in the comments, there were hundreds of people saying, this is so cruel, how could you ever joke about putting makeup on a dog? Or, or and all this kind of, and it's like... You're gonna, like, no matter what you do, you're gonna offend somebody. So, like... <laughs> especially... When you're talking about a learning environment. You don't have to put it. April Fools is supposed to be about jokes, not pranks. It's not like prank. The, the word prank has taken on this whole new meaning where people set up these, you know, spend thousands of dollars on doing this whole big prank thing, like convincing people that their 14 year old's gotten pregnant for views on YouTube and all this kind of crap. Like, it's just, it's disgusting and horrible. Um,. That's not what April Fools was about. Like it's never. It's just. It's supposed to be silly stuff. And I. I don't see why. Like you could absolutely do April Fools in a school with kids who have trauma brains without lying to them. Like God, get all the teachers to dress up as clowns or something. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like obviously, if there's someone with. But like. You dress ups with with silly faces and and you know like get each of the teachers to dress up as a different teacher and like take their class for the the first class of the day or do you, like there's there's so many little things you can do that don't involve upfront lying. It it just anyway. I'm agreeing with you. I think that's very silly. <clears throat> No, no, totally okay, totally okay. But yeah, um, the the joke is that I'm re-rolling an Alliance Demon Hunter because I figured like that was there's there's no there's no like there's no punchline, there's no like insult, there's no there's nothing. It's just ha! I'd never do that. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's um, but I don't know. It, it's an excuse to level a tune, so <laughs> get another sixty on the other faction. Uh, I'm gonna up at the same. Yeah, I think it was animal testing that area. That was a bad call. N no, that was why. Was once rich it was. If you had seen the image, you would not have zero doubt in your mind whatsoever that that was not actually an animal with lashes on. It's not anything to do with animal testing or anything like that. It was just. Have you been keeping up with your rituals? Okay, whatever. Um. I guess they were just. Um, I thought I was legit freaked out. You'd rerolled Alliance. See, but it's not like, it's, yeah, look. I thought it was a fun one. 
it's, it's not super like involved or important or yeah. Yeah, it's a bit silly. And you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah, that's um Given that you're mentioning like trauma kids, I'm assuming that you're working in an environment where quite a large proportion of the my brain went to say player base, but that's obviously not the correct word here. Um of the, the student body have Something going on. Yeah. Would that mean that you've got someone on staff who is, like, specially trained to handle when things get bigger? Because, you know, it happens. It happens to all of us. Like, there's no... But, you know, you don't know when it might happen, and if it happens at school, sometimes you need someone who, who knows, like, who's, who's specialised in those kind of things. Like, I just, I feel like, you know, any kind of joke like that, I feel like if you're handling sensitive topics, like, if you're, if you're handling sensitive issues with a bunch of kids, that you'd run something like that by a specialist in the school who could, like, say, okay, well, this is how some of our students may react or respond to that. Like, you know, I just... Or was this not a planned thing and whoever runs the loudspeaker just kind of did it for funsies with no no other input or something like In which case that person is probably gonna end up being reprimanded because that's not okay, obviously. Just yeah, I don't know. Something something feels like it's it was missing there, big time. <clears throat> You didn't see the image, just see it, never mind. Um, uh, I'm glad it, I'm glad I leave. Oh, I didn't freak out, but I was kind of happy for it. It's like they said, but I wasn't real surviving big boy now and can handle my disappointments. Fair. Yeah, that's a, um, that'd be a pretty, pretty, like a pretty damn big decision to just kind of take on halfway through a patch and all that, but yeah. Um, PCs. Uh, cohort. Yeah, cohort could work as well. I th do they not call things student body anymore? Or is that... I, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been in school. Uh, all been associated with the school. I'm, I'm not a teacher or anything, so... Um. Hey, Lucky. Doing well. How are you? Okay. Do this one now. Mainstream school, large proportion. Awesome, I just thought they were being hilarious. I was kind of so as soon as. Fair enough. Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah, I, I have a feeling that, um, for a, a large chunk of the staff, uh, sensitivity training is going to be a thing that ends up happening. Because, um, <laughs> uh... Yeah. It's one of those kinds of things, like we were talking about a few streams ago, where 
cracking jokes and, and all that kind of stuff when you're with when you're with like a group of friends or whatever. But there's one thing where you all know each other and everything's great. But when you've got like school admin, they are not I mean, they they'll have a general idea of the fact that they have some kids in the school who have issues of, of one type or another. But they're not going to know them and they're not going to know how they respond to, to everyday situations because they don't work with them. Um, which is fair enough, you know, how, how can a person be expected to understand, you know, hundreds of children in a particular year and know like intimately how each of them are going to be doing things different than whatever. But like, it's, yeah, when you have stuff like that that goes badly, the, it always ends up in, in training for like everyone to try to prevent it from happening next time which which it should uh best i mean you can watch slash listen and still get your personal stuff done in fact let this serve as a as an encouragement you should do the thing i'm talking to yeah Later. Uh, what have you got to say? Sorry, Lucky. You'll be glad when it's done, though. You'll be glad when it's done. Hmm. <laughs> Reason whatsoever. Sure. I'm not suspicious at all. I'm supposed to. How do I catch them? So you weaken them, and then you have to take them back to the thing, or...? I don't know, I'm gonna do the- oh, there we go, like that, okay, gotcha. Understood. I have to actually pay attention. Uh, do, uh, doing the things, stuff to do, doing the things, to be fair, I can't do all of it today, it's just stuff I need to do in certain motion, motion, it's fine, I'll be responsible. Yeah, look, just do, do a little bit now, and then... That way you won't have to do that bit of it tomorrow. This is a good thing, I promise. I don't just duplicating Lucky's issue. Catch them when they wake in. Yeah, I know, I just missed the emote last time because I'm... paying less... too, too little attention. Hey. <clears throat> Be responsible, be responsible, be responsible. Exactly. Cries dramatically. Nah, you'll be okay. It was just like we were, t we were t I know you probably weren't here. We were talking earlier about email inboxes and how numbers, large, very, very large numbers of emails. And it's like, even if you have 10,000, that it's gonna, the number's gonna keep going up. <laughs> the number will keep going up until you do it. But when you start doing it, you can do things like unsubscribe from mailing lists and stuff, batch delete everything from that mailing list, and slowly but surely, you'll whittle it down and eventually it'll be at zero. But the, f you, the first thing, you have to do one thing first, and that is start. You've got to do that first email before you can do the 10,000th. So like, yeah, just, just get there, you know, go through, do the thing. It's like today I started working on my email inbox because loudy. Um, I, yes, I've not been paying any attention to it for a couple of weeks because of surgery and everything. Uh, and if I don't, I'm going to miss out on opportunities. I got an email last night that was quite unexpected for what might be an amazing, incredible opportunity. 
Uh, so I responded to that today and I, I may or may not have, I'm, I'm actually not sure. I may or may not have a meeting on Monday. They said Monday, but then, and I was like, yes, that sounds good. What time? And I haven't heard back. And now it's 6 p uh, 6.22 p.m. on a Friday. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm actually doing with that, but that's okay. Um, but then there's, a, you know, a couple of other things that, were waiting for my response like it wasn't it wasn't like oh you have to hurry up and get this done but it's like this this cool thing isn't gonna happen until you respond and give them the details and so I did um so other you know what I mean it's it's all that kind of stuff but um yeah fun times um making the same decision I made alliance to you I have no regrets I'm very, very sorry to tell you this sneaks up, but uh, it's it's April 1st. I am leveling the Alliance Demon Hunter, but it I'm not permanently re-rolling. It was a it was an April Fool's funny, so my apologies. But uh I am still a horde mage. I don't think I'll ever play anything other than a mage, to be perfectly honest. Um it's just it's just too much fun. But welcome back, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I hope I haven't ruined it. By I'm not you that. a paladin. Uh... Correct. Even even when fake rerolling, I'm still not a paladin. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Aesthetical alpha. Come on now. That's that's inappropriate. If you want to if you want to compliment people, hot tip. Compliment something that they have no con uh, that they have control over. Saying something like that, like you have beautiful eyes, or I like your skin, or it's just it's creepy. It's it makes people uncomfortable. It's not it's not really appropriate. Um, making like giving people compliments based on things that they made a choice about that day. Um, for example, if you're saying beautiful eyes because of my makeup, you can compliment the makeup I'm wearing, or I like your lipstick, or I like the way you've done your hair. Or the the top you're wearing, or do you know what I mean? Like, there's there's so many different things that you could compliment if you wanted to, uh, that are not creepy. But that like that comes across as a pickup line, and this is not a fucking dating site. Um, I'm gonna be disappointed. Just playing you along. <laughs> Demon hunter joke is hidden in there. I like that Thor. Well done. Well done. Maybe she guys are probably going to bend me. Looking up, maybe for actual reasons, of course, maybe. Of course, enjoy. Enjoy. Um, I have to make so much sense. Because if I don't, my brain hurts. Hi, the sun well. Oh, what happened there? Can't see it properly. Is that a Neek's gifted sub? Ah! Oh, much appreciated. Thank you so much, Neeks. So generous of you. Thank you. 50 gifties, indeed. Look at that beautiful number. Beautiful number. But I am prepared. You are. Ah, oh, so the beginning. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> playing along. I love it. Thank you very much, Nix, for playing along. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, hey, Stuck. Banana bread is delicious. I like it very much. Uh, Neke, Fade, Martin, Ali, Spam, and Thor, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I especially like banana bread when it's, like, toasted with a little bit of butter. Like, okay, not a little bit of butter. Like, a lot of butter. Uh, <laughs> it's just, oh, the salty and the sweet and the crunchy, but then, like, the still squishy in the middle because it's, like, the thick cut stuff. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit. Hope you're having a lovely day. Ah, uh, for the horse. I mean, for the horde. Look close enough, nurse. Close enough. Four pony. Four pony. Uh, am I just leveling now? Yeah, I am. Cool. Down a centurion. Um, 50 gifties. Now I'm hungry again. I'm so sorry, matey. Look, I'm really good at that, aren't I? Really good at that. I'd rather fight than go. <clears throat> Yeah, the creepy person's left already. Ah, uh, people don't like when I tell them to, like, not be creeps, hey? That's funny. That or they don't like strong women who can talk back. Oh, 
about to ding. Except these aren't giving me experience because I can't kill them. Uh, I really did make my Doom Hunter my last name when I wanted to. Last one to be okay. It has been since. Yeah, me too. That's that's what I've got this one for as well. Like, um, it was at the start of. It was actually BFA pre patch. I wanted to experience War of Thorns from the other side. Um, and I was leveling a mage, and then I realized a couple of weeks out from it, like from launch, I was like, I'm not gonna make it in time. Um, so I switched and grabbed a Demon Hunter because it was gonna be faster to level. Uh, why can't I? Oh, there we go. There it is. I'm trying to click the. There we go. <laughs> Um, and so yeah, this has been my my main for Alliance only content as well. I oh, actually can't be that difficult to just not be creepy. Yeah, but it's the the issue is that they don't think it is creepy. They think it's like it's just a co you can't even take a compliment, etc. etc. Um, because they just think that they're telling you that you're pretty. But it's, it's not, that's not it. <laughs> like it's, there's, there's more to it than that. Um, and because they've never learned that it makes people uncomfortable or they've just written it off as, oh, they're just a bitch. Um, they keep doing it. 56, by the way. I don't think I'm gonna make it to 60 today, but that's okay. Uh, creep is gone creep. Yep, indeed. Uh, Lion's Guild has been inactive and missed anything. I read lead essentially did. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. And awesome's like us be awesome, indeed. Indeed. of the way through Maldraxxus, so that's good. Head into Revendreth. Responsible. No, that's totally fine. Totally fine, Lucky. If you want a little break from responsibility, you can place another unit every five minutes. I don't know if that will disrupt what you're doing too much, though. So no stress if you can't. Uh, is there anything going on in WoW for April Fools? Just likes to do stuff in their games and Overwatch. Everyone has googly eyes. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, I haven't noticed anything, but I haven't actually played WoW much today because I've been working. Uh, like, like back-end stream stuff. Um, but I know that they've got the patch notes. They've, they've always got the, the WoW patch notes that they always release. Um, so that might be... That might be it. I actually have Stream Raiders! <gasps> Lucky! You just play it in the browser. You can type exclamation battle, follow the link, and then just log in with your Twitch account. No, nothing. No, you don't need to sign up or anything like that. You just log in with that and straight on in. Placing them units. Special nice, give me life. Love it, Tasty. 
Glad you've enjoyed them. I haven't seen them yet this year. Usually I have to wait until fairly late to see them because uh, time zones and stuff. Um, but I have been told that they are up, so I will have to have a look later. Yeah, so they're just training an AI to make more. Not yet. I have been told that they are, but that I haven't seen them for myself, Tasty, so um yeah, please don't hold me to that. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. An excuse to procrastinate every five minutes. We Tempting, indeed. But it's not long, to, it's just enough to kind of break and, and like you do drag and drop and then go, okay, cool, and then back to it. Just a little touch, just, just a bit. Just release patch note for 9-4, brilliant. <clears throat> My stream readers to help with my procrastination. Place troops go do stuff here, alert place troops. Yeah, because then you know that you only have to do any task for five minutes before you get to have a break, sort of thing. It's not a long break, but it's also not a long period of work either, so. Yeah. Works for me. Awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Yay for helping. Uh, what level do you think I'm going to get to today? Anyone willing to take a stab? <clears throat> Started at 54, currently 56. Witness the fury of you think I'm going to get to 60, Nurse? I love that you have faith in me. Wonderful. I'm not sure I'll get there. We can probably get close though. 59. 5x. Cheeky. might get to 50. Ooh, I reckon I'll probably get to 58, maybe really close to 59. Or like just over, I might, I might just be able to ding. Obviously uh, anything's better than what I am now because it's improvement. Back. back online! Hey! Fantastic! Welcome to the battle. Hopefully you get some bonus shit. I knew you would not fail us.
that's interesting. Seven chapters. Our forces require aid. All must serve the call of the Necro Lords. Uh, I mean, look, usually I would absolutely go for the questing, like the storyline. But I reckon Friends of Fate's a really good option if you're already at like 53, 54. Do I have to... Oh, reanimate. Okay, I see. So I have to kill them and then reanimate them. I don't... Like, I just don't like... Having to either wait until... The next whatever to do a tall gas run again to be able to get an, get more experience. Or do dungeons. Like, I, I don't... I don't like those options. Um, so I'd prefer to do storyline, but... If I'm already halfway there, I don't think I'll need to do that. I think I should be able to get there just from the the zones. Maybe a tall ghast, like one one round of tall ghast. Yeah. Another soldier falls. The way Rockface cries out with your questions, like such an a-hole every time. Oh, that's okay. Precious gets in the way. Precious, it's self-defense. Self-defense. Wait, did that not work? Excuse me, I had a lot more animates. Got some everyone has to start huh? somewhere, right? Yeah, please do jump on and contribute to the pet collecting stream. We have to get to fifty percent today because it's only a two day um only a two-day goal. Oh, we go. we're 25 percent, so we're halfway to our goal for today. Look at that thing. Mm, they fake notes. Great, this one that made me unexpectedly sad. Aww. Aww. Well, I look forward to having a read of them later. This year. Oh. Need something. Sorry to hear that. I've got glory to earn. Look, I. I don't. Not that I remember the first set that I ever read. Um, but I do feel like the patch notes, the the April Fool's patch notes, do get really built up in my head, and then they're not quite there. Like you know what I mean? Like it's. Because it's this amazing once a year event and all this kind of stuff, it just kind of... Mm, I don't know. Because at least bit insight, humanity, casual prodding at the community. Warrior ones are the best. Fair. Okay. 
Yeah, I've not seen them yet. I'll have a read after stream. Oh, why does it say, why does it affect, when I speak to one, it affects both of them, but not, not both of them count towards my quest. Annoying. Have fun. Not a problem at all. No need to apologize, nurse, as I keep telling you. We'll see you next time. Out of cage key. Oh, shit, excuse me. A big day. Does anyone else get that weird moment before they do something big where it's not nervousness but like yeah I can do this and that's somehow terrifying. It's the I'm about to actually do this thing. Yeah, I, I get that. Absolutely. Anxiety disorder. I mean I also have an I have anxiety as well, so that might be that. But no, it's it's kinda like it's not even necessarily a negative feeling. It's just this kind of this is the moment that's gonna change the stuff. Here we go. Yeah, I've had that a fair bit. Especially in the last year or so, when all this stuff for stream has just kind of been happening and happening and happening.
muscles. I think it's something normal, indeed. Indeed. It's just, it's normal body responses that, like, I mean, like, how do I explain this? It's normal body things happening abnormally. That's the problem. It's something going up to 11 when it's supposed to go up to 3 uh, and stuff like that, which is not ideal. But it's not like your body is malfunctioning. Like, your body is doing what it's supposed to be doing, it's just doing it too much. Um, you know. Uh... Never starting this episode. Never wanted anything more than to do it. Then do it. Like take a moment and recognize that this is about to happen. This is this is it. It's happening. And then take a deep breath. Get cracking. Hey, raging. How you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, this way. Oh, what are some sense I have a hair trigger? Mm. Or, or have a, an impro improportionate response, um, is what tends to do it for me. Um, like, so prior to my cyclothymic diagnosis, it was, um, the diagnoses were generalized anxiety disorder and, uh, depressive episodes. Um, but yeah, so for me, Anxiety doesn't happen on a on a hair trigger. We cannot allow it's more gain a in something that would make anybody a little unsteady would make them. me explode. <laughs> um, so it, it wouldn't like like normal everyday occurrences were fine. Everything was golden. Everything was fine. But the moment something that would ha something would happen that would make a a neurotypical person a little bit nervous would make me panic. Um, so it was just a disproportionate response rather than a, a hair trigger. Um, it's amazing how differently these kind of things- and I mean, it still does to an extent, but, um, I've- It's not medication, because I never took anxiety medication. Never. Um, so it's- it's not meds that did- that did the anxiety thing for me, it's, um, Help, getting help, training with a psych, learning strategies and, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what did it for me. Uh, I'm a Kiwi. Oh, I couldn't tell. That's shocking news that I am only just learning now. See neighbors streaming. <laughs> uh, I always understood it before I decided uni is the volume being turned way up on our, all our responses. Uh, potentially, yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of... it's interesting. It really does depend on the person, doesn't it? It's amazing. How bodies can go wrong in so many magical different ways. It's beautiful. Thank you, Koalatron. You should definitely go and place your units on the battlefield if you haven't already. We're in the final five minute placement window. Do the thing. Follow the link. Log in with your Twitch account. Drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Unit at this point. You can drop a new one every five minutes, but this is the last five minutes of the battle placement period, so just the one. I don't think, like, look, I think Maldraxxus is probably my least favorite zone, to be honest. I just don't vibe with the aesthetic. Like, to look at, the zone to look at is not great at all. Um, but, god, the story's amazing. Really enjoyed playing through it, I just don't like the way it looks. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the,
uh, Maldraxxus, yeah, it is, Maldraxxus. Yeah, um, this is, uh, I've got four 60s, so this will be my fifth level 60 turn. Five down, 45 to go. But I'm not gonna, that's not a... I'm, I'm not gonna push to get them all to 60. I'm just gonna kind of do it casually, I think. I pushed to get them all to 50, and that was enough. That was enough. Oh, I'm constantly baffled not by the human mind. The potential for madness and brilliance within the same synapse is something that makes me nerd out for ages. Yeah, absolutely. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, the zone looks slash appearance is somewhat legion-like, probably because of the greens, etc. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I did not think of legion, I have to say, when, when I... Um... It kind of feels closer to Zangar Marsh. Kind of like Zangar Marsh, but sick. But unwell. Um, so like Burning Crusade. Because uh, of all the mushrooms and puddles and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, interesting. Ah, uh, yes, a stretch. My is very plague lands. Oh, absolutely. Oh, fuck yeah. 100%. It's the land of the plague. Um. Front page. I'm about on a launch petition right now. I know. Um, I know. Uh, just to let you know that the uh, battle.net link you put through has come through as asterisks because we have link protection here. Uh, but I knew what you were saying because, yeah, it's, um, February 1st last year was the first time I was featured on the launcher. Um, and I, I'm on there on and off, uh, since then, and it's been an incredible journey. Just absolutely awesome. Hi, the sun well. Um, I've really enjoyed myself, met so many awesome people, and, uh, had some uh, wonderful opportunities because of it. So, yeah, I'm very, very thankful to Blizzard ANZ, uh, for reaching out and, and giving me the opportunity. It's been fantastic. <clears throat> Trod! With the resub 12 months. Enjoy your new sub badge. Hope you are doing well today. Hey, a fight. Welcome back. Yes, we do have, we've got a challenge. We've got a community challenge for channel points. If we are successful, I will do a stream in May where I will attempt to collect as many battle pets as I possibly can to try to get ahead on the rankings on data for Azeroth. Uh, if you click the little campfire, purple campfire, underneath the chat box and then click the banner that says Pet Collecting Stream, you can contribute up to 2,000 embers each stream. So you'll be able to contribute 2,000 today and then 2,000 on Sunday when we next stream. Um, but if you don't have 2,000 embers, you can contribute any amount up to 2,000 as well. And then as you earn more, as you're watching through the rest of the stream, you can continue to contribute little bits and pieces until you've reached a maximum of 2,000 for the day. Uh, if we're gonna make, if we're gonna complete this goal successfully, uh, we'll need to hit 50% today because it's just a goal covering two days, Friday and Sunday, instead of uh, a full week. So there you go. 50% is what we're aiming for today. <clears throat> hey, you Welsh. How you doing? Uh, Dupe, Fade, Lucky, Dunno, uh, Ova, Ali, Thor, Neke, and Zombie. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, this one. Uh, next Wednesday, it is the day I can do the third wing on LFR. They continue with chapter four. I stopped because the quest failed me. Ah, I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, thank you. You're doing very well, thank you. I can play, yes, fantastic. Being I can hit 60 by the end of this weekend. You should be alright. If you're if you're in Maldraxxus was sec third, right? The third one? Bastion, Ardenwild, Maldraxxus. 
Um, the first time I leveled, like on launch day, the our, both of our tunes, Jas and I, hit sixty. Pretty, I think oh, we must have been like thirty to forty percent of the way through Revendreth. So if you've got at least a couple of hours to sink into the game, you should be okay. It just depends on what other plans you've got, of course. Hey, Jackie, welcome back. How are you going? You're having a fantastic day. Is this a pigeon? Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. All right. There you go. Place your units. Uh-oh. There we go. Got a couple of really interesting... Sorry, I, uh, I was going to say, got a couple of really interesting goals for this month. Usually, for those of you who are new here, usually we have a community challenge with embers each week and we'll rotate like we'll have a new one each week and the goal will usually be something to do with the stream in the next month um so this month i asked when i was doing up my list i asked in sub chat in discord um if you're not in discord you should join and if you're not if you're a subscriber you should definitely join and then like connect your account so that it can give you the role automatically yep so I asked in sub chat in Discord um, what types of things people wanted to see as goals. And I managed to incorporate a few of them. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Allow devourers to gain a foothold in Maldrak. They will consume everything we have fought for. Destroy them. Uh crafting seems to be different from used to. It's like don't even know where to start anymore. What are, what are your professions? What are you trying to craft? Okay, how about you? Yeah, I'm. it's starting to hit me that I'm actually quite tired, that I've had a really productive day, which is probably why I'm so tired. Uh, I'm doing really well. I've also just noticed we're two hours and 45 in and no one's even tried to guess my mount makeup. Are we, are we bored of the game now? Is that... Because the last couple of streams we've had very delayed guesses. We just we just bored of the game. <clears throat> no doubt this menace will return. But for now, uh, it is I do own this mount. And it is a flying mount, it is able to fly. Just FYI. Oh yeah. Excuse me. That's Puff Magic Dragon. It is not. Seems it was already guessed. Yeah, no. Definitely not. Uh, I wanted to learn alchemy. It comes to gathering mats. It's like you don't need skill anymore to pick the items. Uh, you do. If you're getting, if it's herbs, you need herbalism to get those. There might be a couple that you can collect, like you can kill stuff to get to drop and stuff like that, but um. If you're talking about herbs, you do still need herbalism to collect those. But you might have that profession as well, because they they do often pair quite well together on a single character. Um, assuming Kesta joined so late, I came late and figured it had been done. Ah, oh, my goodness, it was a pretty slow climb today. People definitely trickled in a little slower than usual. Um, but that like totally okay, no problem at all. Um. But yeah, maybe that's why people thought it had been guessed, but there were so few, there were like quite few people here at the start. So maybe that's... Uh, 
Uh, years and years of farming finally to match Ms. Mount. Hey, congratulations! You see how to change characters week last year. to push it. Well done, Invin. Well done. Good on you. And guest, good evening, Kraz. How you doing? Well, I'm Jess and I were talking to you today, talking about you today. Do you have apples and I mean, didn't pick anything in the beginning levels, right? Now I can just pick things in Shadowlands. Yep, so the way that professions work nowadays um, is you have, like, di all the, I, it's not a really bad example because this is not very trained tune, but you have each, each expansion has its own section of stuff and you level them up separately. Um, so that you don't have to start at classic when you get a new expand and if, if you're you know if you've got a tune and you're like actually i want to do tailoring now and you pick up tailoring so you don't have to go all the way back to classic and level through classic and bc and wrath and da -da -da -da, they all have their like each expansion has its own separate level if you wanted to craft a transmog piece from wrath um then you'd have to level up wrath tailoring but you don't have to level it right through from the very beginning because yeah, it was a, a huge quality of life change. Uh, and so time is back in alive and I can be on time. Yes, it's a bit weird. Thought my ears were burning. There you go. Have you got your packs ticket or are you go like? Because we, what we were talking about was um, how you you said you were gonna uh, take me for a session CrossFit. You can't do that if you're not going to packs. So we were we were talking about whether or not you were gonna go to packs. Excuse me. Um, get more each time if your level is higher. Thought not. Thought I can spell. Ah, uh, is that an olive green in the crease? No. All right, give me a second. Let me not die, and then I'll. Okay. Day. Hi. So, oh, I've got all the bits and pieces turned off again. There we go. Uh, so I have, it's it's brown just in here, but then the rest of it is gray. Then there's red on the outer corner and it's supposed to be gold on my lids, but it turned out to be a lot more pale than I, than I thought it was going to be based on the pan. It's like, it's kind of, it's like it's so shimmery that it's reflecting too much. So you can't see that it's actually gold. Uh, but yeah, so it's, um, gold, red, a little bit of brown, and grey. I own it, and it flies. Excuse me, that's very rude. So that's cool enough. It is. It's huge. Especially now that they've got so many expansions, you know, it's a little bit ridiculous. Um. So, so Armored Bloodwing. No. Good evening, Kay. Hello. Red Drake. No. So it's been a long time ago. Yeah, totally okay. Totally okay. Prestigious Bronze Corsa. No. Do you have my tax ticket? I have given a chance to represent SA stage though, which helps my goal of making packs. Of course. Of course. Well, uh, last I heard, the tickets were 70%. The th three day passes were 70% gone. Um, you can still purchase a Friday, a Saturday, and a Sunday once the three day passes are gone. But it costs more money because you get a discount for getting a three day rather than buying three individual tickets. Um, so it's it's more expensive and you don't get a whole lot much. Like you'll you'll have maybe a couple of weeks at the absolute max to, to get everything together um, before the Saturdays are sold out. Um, you'll still be able to get a Friday and a Sunday ticket. In fact, Friday and Sunday tickets 
are often on sale up until the week of because they're they don't usually entirely sell out. Although there is the fact that this is the first one in three years. Um so people are excited. Plus the fact that they're um because of like COVID restrictions and stuff like that, they're probably not gonna be able to sell as many tickets as they normally would because of like restrictions on how many people they can have in the venue and stuff. Um if it's something you want to do, I would be very seriously looking at doing it now. Just as a, like, not not a like, yelling at you or anything like that. Just as, like, I wouldn't want you to, you know, have given that up and all this kind of stuff and then not be able to go to PAX either. That would suck. All sorts of, just, that'd be horrible. Um, so, advice! Yay. <clears throat> um oh thank you lucky i really appreciate that i was really happy with how it turned out honestly i love the colors together like it's it's mostly neutral but then with that pop of red that just but the red's not it seems it fits in somehow like it just yeah i i was really really happy with how it turned out. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, I am also going to try and get the podcast back up by the end of this month, which is tough because Elena is super freaking busy, but if I can, that will help. Absolutely. For sure. Discord link didn't work for me. Ah, oh, I used it a while ago. That shouldn't matter. I think what has happened is we've lost a few server boosts. We, um, I had some incredibly generous folk, um, boost the server and we were at level three which meant we had a custom invite link which is the discord.gg forward slash fiama i think that's fallen off because we've lost a couple of boosts um give me a second to get through this and i'll whoa excuse me um and i'll have a look and see if that's what's going on may i tempt you <laughs> with my words yeah, we're four boosts short, so I think it's just not the Fiamma one isn't working anymore. Bugger! Alright, that's okay. Let me... Oh, it's because I'm on streamer mode. Right, I always forget this. So if you have Discord Nitro and you have a spare boost lying around, I'd much appreciate you chucking it into our server. I only need four more to get back to that custom link. Unfortunately, I can't afford to pay for the four myself. Um, something like 400 bucks a year, <laughs> which I don't have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll be able to pay for it and claim it on tax and all that kind of fun stuff, but unfortunately, um, at this point I'm unable to afford that. Alright, there we go. I've edited both of those commands, so it should... Yeah, that, that link should work. Sorry about that. Actually, I need to turn the stream back on, otherwise it's going to annoy the hell out of me. Good. Good! Um, Golden Cloud Serpent. No. Wondering 2.0. No! At some stage I plan to go back and solo the story I missed. Of course. It's a good plan. Good plan. Uh, Argent Hippogriff. No. What were the big eyes for, Lucky? Uh, Sinful Gravewing. No. Mail Muncher. No. Should have just three day pass now. Can't make all three days. Can I hand off a day to a mate or something like that? Or nah? No. Give me a second. I, I think the official answer is no. Um, yep, 
Yep, so the three-day badges are 70% sold out, but the three individuals are fine. Oh, right, okay. Um... Ooh, actually, that's a... Oh, shit. Wait. Sorry, I just... Fuck. <laughs> um, I th usually the applications for media badges open, like, months later. They're open now. I need to do that. Fuck, let me add that to my to-do list. Give me just a second. Um, apply for media packs. Badge. Cool, done. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so terms and conditions prohibit unauthorized resale or attempted resale. So that's step one. Um, it doesn't say anything about trading your badges, to, like, because you get, it's a physical card that you get. Um, it's, it's like a, it's like a thing like this that has a little slot in it for you to put a lanyard through that you wear, but it doesn't ha have your name or anything like that on it. Um, when you go through the first, like, when you go through the first time, regardless of what day that is, like, if it's a Friday or if you've got a three-day or, or just a Friday badge, da-da-da, they give you a wristband to indicate that you're over 18 because there are some, some places that are, you know, 18 plus and some panels that are 18 plus and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I don't remember them checking my ID against a badge or anything like that. Um, but... Yeah, you can't ask for money for the day. Like, if if you're like, oh, I can't make the Sunday. Hey, do you want? Yeah, I'll, I'll, do you want to pay me for a third of the badge? And you can no, no. T T's and C's say absolutely not. Um, but yeah, it's uh beyond that that it doesn't specifically say in the FAQs, but it might say in the terms and conditions. So maybe I know, I know, but maybe have a read of them just to be sure. Um, cause, yeah, like, I, I, yeah. Tell me what you need, my friend. I don't want to give you the wrong advice and then you know, have the badge taken off you or whatever. Um, Hogris, Swine of Good Fortune. Ali is correct. Um, it's I don't like it chippy. It's okay, because as long as it's not YouTube ones, yeah, it's pretty important. I have a link that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. So that's like that's the one that we have now, that AHU one is my standard link. Um but yeah, we did have slash Fiamma, but unfortunately For yeah, you, it's a little expensive I to maintain. So hopefully over time um we'll acquire a few new members who have spare Discord Nitro boosts. Um, and they, uh, or they're, they're boosting a server that has a plethora of additional boosts available to them and they don't need it, um, so they can take it out and put it somewhere else or something like that, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, it is what it is. Maybe when I'm full-time streamer, I can have, I can have, what's it, but, um, uh, I'd not be surprised if officially no, no, neither would I. That's why I would be really, really, really careful about it. Because the last thing you want to do is, like, 
give your badge to someone for the Friday and then they confiscate it and then you've lost it for the rest of the weekend. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just, it's or they try, you know, they have it for day one and then you have it for day two and they're like, you're not. And then, yeah, it's, um, it would not be good. It would not be good. Um, okay. Dalaran Hearthstone, apparently. Oh, we've finished Maldraxxus. Fantastic. Uh... You would get back to me. I purchased the tickets right now. Oh dear. I mean, you could get yours and then get hers. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely gonna be there. Like I've paid for it. Jas has got his. Uh, I've paid for it. Um, <laughs> he pays me back. It's fine. Um, and uh, I'll have my. Uh, I might get a refund on mine, depending. Um, just being a partner doesn't guarantee you a media badge. Uh, but. I am not gonna. I'm not gonna not apply. Am I? I might as well. Worst they can do is say no and laugh at me. And this year they are going to be slightly less likely to to laugh at me than in previous years. So um, I'll give it a go. And then beyond that, even if they say no, there may may be a brand that says, "Hey, we want to get you involved in our booth, or, or we want you to stream from our booth, or blah blah blah." And then they like because the each exhibitor has access to, to some bits and pieces. So if I participate with someone like that, they might give me one of their media badges. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a, God, it's a whole minefield of happy things. Like a, like a happy minefield. Like everywhere you turn, there are opportunities and amazing things. So yeah, I just gotta, gotta get my stuff done. Gotta get my stuff done. Okay, 72 please. Awesome, I was waiting till I got there. Um. It's saying to go do the Elysian Fields, but that's not where I'm up to. I need to um, turn in Rallying Maldraxxus. Right, cool. So, unfortunately, it seems that Flagro has sent me in the wrong direction, but that's right. Uh, Um, 72. Barrow Trauma. One word. I don't know what that means, but it sounds interesting. Here. There you go. Um, there's a Discord link in the about part of Twitch. It's been updated. So I was trying, ooh, oh, you're in now, awesome, fantastic. I might check that, I might have switched that to the Fiamma link and then not switched it back. Um, I have, yep, okay, that's exactly what has happened. Oh, now it's putting a Steam key in there, good, that's not what I wanted. Um, There we go. Updated successfully. Thank you for letting me know about that. I have fixed it! No, 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 no. God damn it. Hey, uh... Step one, buy packs tickets. Step two, find a CrossFit gym that will host us. Yeah, that was what I was... My next question was going to be. Um, do your gym... Is it part of a chain? Do they have a, a sister club in, in Melbourne somewhere um, that will allow you to kind of transfer? Because I know that, um, like, I am 100% completely inexperienced. I've never done CrossFit ever. So there are going to be some gyms that won't want me doing it without having one of their trainers there. But then I know that you have the ability to train. So will they recognize your qualification bits if you're not employed by that? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's all kind of having making sure we check those boxes and that was why i was going to say i was going to talk to you like a couple months out from pax but i mean now is fine too um because it it really is like for health and safety like getting all the things in a line and then figuring out how to stream it uh <laughs> figuring out how to stream it would be great fun and of course getting permission from the gym to be able to film or, or stream live from their space as well that's a whole thing um yeah, and it'd have to be after packs, 
like it'd have to be in the couple of days after rather than the couple of days prior because in the couple of days prior I'll be staying uh nowhere anywhere close to the city like a three hour drive from the city um so, so it would have to be while I'm staying with dad who stays very close to the city so yeah it's um there there is a lot of planning done lately? to be done a lot of planning to be done but um do it we'll figure it out hey 57 watch yourself not bad you. we're doing pretty well battles. getting there Glory is um so what do i want to do next was uh revendreth Um, I'm gonna ask you don't get indeed. Obviously, I'll get a media badge with my wildly popular podcast once the 100 or so listeners in Oz. Absolutely. I mean, you can always ask. <laughs> I feel like being on Blizzard launcher should get you a badge slash shrug. Nah, it's like Blizzard has no association with PAX. In fact, Blizzard's only been to one PAX and it was a, a fairly minor kind of involvement, to be perfectly honest. Um, if they have a booth this time, if they have a presence at PAX this time, they may ask me to partake in some way. And so they may give me a badge. But when it comes to, like, there are hundreds of thousands of video games and there are streamers of all shapes and sizes who are the go-to for any one of those games. And there are so many streamers in Australia who are much more well-known for their partaking in WoW than I am. They are much, much bigger than they are, than I am. So if Blizzard had one badge, it'd probably go to not me. Like, do you know what I mean? Like it's, there are so many of us, um, which is great. Like it's a really, really good thing. But yeah, it's, um, being on the launcher is a huge deal for us, but in, tom in terms of the greater gaming community in Australia, it's not. What might your purpose be? Um, but yeah, I'll have a read through and see their um Your path is chosen. I'll have a look through what their uh, requirements are gonna be this year. Because usually um because they have a limited number of media badges. <clears throat> purchase nope that's an email I don't want that I want Media and influencer registration. They're back. If you'd like to speak to us about Pax or you've got any customers, shoot us an email. Apply now using the media registration form below. Okay. So they don't call it a content creator badge anymore, it's now called an influencer badge. Both media and influence coverage is extremely important to Paxos. We want to make sure we're reserving these badges for the right people. So media is event coverage pre-show, during show, and or post-show. And influencer is event coverage both pre-show and during show. So I'd be... be an influencer. Um... I set limitations in place, carefully consider which badge to apply for. We also want you may also want to consider being on a panel, working with an exhibitor partner, joining us at Streamland, PAX's content creator hub. What is that? I've never heard of this. Ooh. 
sorry. <clears throat> Special things. So they mentioned this Streamland thing, but there's nothing anywhere about it. It's interesting, I might email them. Yay! Congratulations to Dark, Thor, Lucky, Koala, Martin, Kludgy, V, and Dunno on all of your bonus shits. Yes, this one. Travelers in Ezebra. Yeah, I um I have got a few questions I need to ask them as well as give them my schedule for this month um via email. So uh yes, I'm going to double check with my contact and see whether or not they're gonna have a presence. I mean, this far out they may not know, but at least me getting onto the radar with that being like, hey, if there is something, I would like to be involved. Um and just kind of see what happens from there. Shoes. <laughs> Ten of us is pure god, let's be honest. Step one, yas. We crossed it twice, I heard immensely both times because we kind of assist a star club everywhere in the world. You may need to do a foundation set to be allowed in. I'm pretty confident I know someone who will help us out with it all if needed. Oh, awesome! You're doing it right then. Good lord. Good lord. I am. Oh, I just. The, the, like. The other question I had for you, because I know that you're, like, you're qualified to, to train people. I, I, I'm not sure if qualified is the right word because I'm not sure how it all works in the CrossFit world because I imagine that in order to train someone, you need some form of some kind of qualification, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, so you're qualified to, to do training stuff for, for other people. And so, like, I, I'm – and you know me and you know my, like – not obviously not my intense history of everything ever wrong with my body, but you're pretty well aware that I'm like not the. Did I just click it again? I'm a. You know. Or you have a, a an understanding of the things that are wrong with me, and so you'll have an idea of my limitations. Well, but I also feel like you know me well enough that you'll be able to tell, like, if I say, "Oh, it hurts." Like, you'll be able to tell whether I'm just bitching or whether you need to hold up, like, or whether, you know, you need to step back or whatever. Um, and then, so, my next question uh, was, how much? Because we pay people what, we're, what they're worth here. And you would literally be giving me a fucking PT session. And PTs are a paid service. <laughs> And so you are going to need to figure out how much you charge if you haven't already. Like if you, if you, I, I don't know how it works for you where you are at the moment, but um, you are going to need to figure out how much to charge me. So heads up. Let's do it right. Let's do it right. Let's do it Because uh, it's the 1st of April. <laughs> I'm leveling it because I, I want it to be more capable of farming for Alliance only stuff. Um, but the, the re-rolling is, um, is because it's April Fool's. Uh, I recently leveled my first lines to nice stock. That is awesome news. Well done. <clears throat> of course. These battles are just the best. They are fantastic, aren't they, Dark? Uh, is it maybe the partner lounge? Is that mentioned separately? Partner lounge is run by Twitch. The partner lounge is a Twitch booth. So Twitch pay for a booth. And then instead of having it advertising Twitch, which it kind of does, they they open it up and put some shares and stuff in there. Um, so it's 
that's run entirely separately from PAX. They they purchase a booth space from PAX, but it's it's different. Um, First bonus shit, yay, lucky! Started the fifth bonus audiobook yesterday, so enjoyable to listen to. Amazing. Come closer. I'm qualified, yes. Okay, cool, it is the right. I don't know, I'm so sorry if that was offensive. I, I promise you I'm not trying to upset you. I was trying to figure out what the right word was in, like... There are, okay, so... Where I used to go to the gym, we had people who were, like, who had degrees in in whatever it is that you get the degree into it in order to do that kind of stuff. But then we also had people who just had like a certificate or whatever. Like, do you know what I mean? It was a, there was this big kind of hierarchy of, of different people who could help you with different stuff. And so I wasn't sure what, how it worked with CrossFit. I don't know if there's like some kind of higher duties thing where people who have been doing it for a long time are allowed to give advice to other people or like, I just, I, I have no idea. So I'm so sorry if that came across as like trying to, belittle your achievements or anything like that because it was absolutely not my intention. Good, now that I've successfully dug myself out of that hole. <laughs> um, minimum level, minimum is level one. A level one creature, ah, oh, fantastic. That's awesome news. Why am I turning this in? Talk to Rendell, he runs this, ah. Oh. Where? Did I break it? I feel like maybe I- oh no, there we go. Um, oh, hello Darth, welcome on in, how are you? That's a scary statement. Firstly, would not charge you many to pay to jump into whatever you mean. No, of course, and you absolutely are going to be paid. If we stream it, I can claim it on tax, okay? Just... <laughs> I don't know, because she needs CF level 1, it's not a degree or anything like that. Maybe that's why people see CrossFit as a bit of a cult. They have heaps of experience and do have the official qualifications. You need to coach! Ah, awesome! Oh, that's super cool. Now, um, for me, I, I absolutely, and I still see parts of CrossFit as absolutely cult-like. Um, but for me, it's not like the training or anything like that. For me, it's the, um, like... The horror stories I've heard about um, trainers, like, if you don't show up to a thing, like, texting you, like, where are you? Like, what what happened? Why weren't you here? We missed you. Hopefully you'll come tomorrow. And then, like, tweet texting you at night to say, you know, you better be coming tomorrow morning, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you're getting some sleep. Like, just all of that kind of. And then, like, the guilting you into being there and all that kind of. And I'm sure that that kind of stuff absolutely is what some people need in order to stay committed to a program. And that's fine, that's that's great. But it just kind of seemed like everything was like that, rather than just some of it, or just, you know, these outliers that were kind of bonkers. It, it kind of, the amount of that kind of thing I was seeing, it was like everyone was either like totally full on in it and just, it was so this huge part of their personality and it was all that they kind of talked about and all that kind of stuff, or, they got massively put off because these coaches were just too goddamn pushy. Um, so I think that's why I saw it. But it makes sense. Like CrossFit as a as a concept, like functional fitness, it makes sense to me. So instead of lifting a weight a bunch of times to train like two or three muscles in isolation, you train those muscles by doing things that those muscles are supposed to be doing in, in actual life situations, you know, rather than... I, and that, that part of it, makes total sense it's the um but i mean there are people who like there are people in every hobby who their entire like 100 percent of their personality is like i am a person who knits do you know do you know what i mean like it's that's not just crossfit that's that's not like <laughs> it just seemed to be of higher prevalence in in crossfit um could not coach in a standard gym however yeah fair fair Ah, uh, I can see why it's considered a cult, but I love this shit, really, I've never experienced that. Good! That's awesome news! But that was, like, I'm talking back when it first sort of exploded, when you could, you could walk down three blocks and pass five boxes or whatever they called them. Like, they were everywhere. Um, 
and it was just this whole big thing and it was really kind of um there are a couple of people who told me it felt kind of pyramid schemey like you know get more people to join and we'll give you more stuff i mean which that's just you know your standard referral program but they were really pushy about it and so it was all just kind of i don't know look it If you have not experienced those things, then that is a great thing. Why? Button didn't. I think I broke it. Broke it. Always getting bigger. How you're doing? Ah, uh, 15, 20 years ago, I was not well coached. Ah, okay. There you go. Interesting. That's not good either. <laughs> Especially when you guys, because you guys do some intense stuff. I mean, like, you know, injuries at a regular gym, totally, like, reasonable. You know, if you if you try to pick something up that's entirely too heavy for your muscles and you, you damage something. But the chances of you being able to pick it up in the first place are pretty slim. But CrossFit stuff seems like you can still attempt it and get pretty close and then die <laughs> or if you don't have proper form you could really do some damage which again is the same in a normal gym but it like yeah scary stuff uh chris been doing a few dodgy practices once upon a time uh, but today if you ignore the competitive side it's designed for the average human to live a better life cool super cool yeah i'm honestly i'm interested to see how capable I am, given that I am redonkulously unfit. I've lost so much of my strength, although I could probably gain that back prior to PAX if I, if I really worked at it. Um, but I am exceptionally unfit, and I always have been. Even when I was strong, I was still unfit. Um, and... And of, like with the damage, like I have, I have permanent damage in my knee joint, which sucks. Like sometimes it's fine, and then sometimes like there are certain movements, very specific movements, and then the problem is I don't know until I do them, um, and then it's like, oh, that doesn't feel good. I remember there was a, um, there was a, a particular trick in um, in pole where you'd climb up the pole and then you wouldn't be on the floor. So one leg, your lower leg, you'd like shift out this way and your lower leg would be straight and you kind of not, not quite lock the knee, but pretty close. And you'd brace the ends of the arch of your foot against the side of the pole to kind of stand on it, if that makes sense. And then your top knee, your top leg would wrap around the pole that way to kind of lean yourself out. And you'd like hook it, hook your leg behind it and hold it in the crook of your knee. And if you, if you tucked in your hip, you would start swinging backwards. So you had to like brace that. You had to make a real strong triangle. I'm pretty sure it was called triangle. You'd hold the pole and you'd lock your hip and you'd lock the other hip so that it would be pushing forward so that your body doesn't try to swing backward. And then you'd sit up straight as well so that you, your center of gravity wasn't going to swing you in either direction. And then you'd let go and you'd just have your arms straight, like no, no grippy, just, just straight. And I could do it. And I could do it until I locked that top hip. Until I made the proper shape so that I wouldn't swing. And when that happened, it wasn't my knee that hurt. Because it was the knee that was bent is the bad knee, right? It wasn't the knee that hurt. It was my hip. I had a shooting, like a sharp shooting pain that ran perfectly just through the hip joint. And I'm like... What the hell? And eventually we figured out that it was basically like my knee was doing okay, but my hip was trying to compensate because it knew the knee was weak. So the hip was trying to pull more in and that was what was causing the pain. It, it, like, so I, I could never have guessed <laughs> that I was gonna have that kind of a problem, but there you go, you know, like what the hell? Yeah, I'll be I'll be curious to see what I can and can't do 
uh, and and how competently I can do what I can do. I literally get widows like me that push harder and harder and think they're great and realize I'm still miles away from the best in the world, of course, but that, like, you can still be great while not being the greatest. Like, you absolutely can be, you know? Hey, Mao, how are you going? Welcome back. But yeah, it's, uh... Bodies are fascinating things. There are so many lovely different ways that they can go wrong. Smash the big one. Brilliant. Um, if I can make it happen, I'll organize a workout where we can compete at our own level, but we'll challenge the space of CrossFit's definition of fitness as I can. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, like I, I if I'm gonna do a workout, I want it to be challenging. But like I don't want it to be easy, but I also don't want it to kill me. <laughs> um, especially considering that I'm gonna be like, away from home, different state. Um, I'm not, like, if I if I do injure myself and do something silly, uh, it's not like Jas can help me get into the car and drive me home or anything. Like, it's gonna, it's a proper, you know, it's it's gonna be an issue. Um, but like, I'm I'm pretty confident that you wouldn't let me do anything wrong. If that, yeah, like, yeah. Trust you. Trust you. Hello! Hello, Sam. How are you going? Paladin Fee, what are you doing? I know, even when I reroll, I'm not a paladin. Even when I reroll, still not a paladin. How are you going? See what happens? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm guessing a foundation is kind of like the step after a warm-up. It's like a like a fitness test kind of deal to see like where you're at and stuff. Oh, it's down. Okay. <laughs> Right, okay. Sounds like fun. <laughs> scary one. That's all right, you got the process started. You got the process started. Right.
Oh, it's an area. Okay. Like, where is the quest? Hunt down every soul that hides within these holes. Uh, part of the game, we should have we're into that, though. Fair enough. You know, this really done. You have purple with April 1st, which should look great with the new chair ammo. Maybe. I Look, I do love the purple. Mum got a, um, a Fiyama shirt. Mum bought herself and stepdad uh, a Fiyama shirt each. And mum got the purple one, because purple's her favourite colour. And good lord, it looks amazing with the, like, the orange and yellow bird. Oh, it looks fantastic. Um, so I'm kind of like, you know, purple's like the, the tertiary color. Like most of my stuff is, is colored like orange and orange and yellow. But if I need a comp, if I need a contrasting color, we go purple. Easy peasy. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, uh, dyeing my hair purple would be entirely too much effort. I've been busy as hell today. <laughs> Instead, I rerolled. Um, there's one. We will break the light. Mile run into 100 pull ups, 200 push ups, 300 squats, finish with another mile run. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You'll be imprisoned for murder, manslaughter. I'm just, I'm just not healthy. Like I'm not fit enough to be able to do that kind of stuff. Also, 300 squats, my my knee is hurting now. Like thinking about doing that is is making my knee hurt. Uh, <laughs> squats are a really tricky one for me to do them properly to get as low as I'm supposed to, do, and then push back up through uh, makes my knee grind. And so after. A few of them, I like it really, de it, depending on the day, uh, the, the day kind of dictates how many I can do before it starts actually being painful. Um, but there is a point, like it, it, for, it doesn't feel nice at all ever, um, but then it starts getting a little upset and then it starts like being actual pain. And if I push it too hard, if I, if I try to keep pushing through that, then when I wake up the next morning, I won't be able to walk. Um, so, so, yes. <laughs> um, yeah. But, like, I can, I can do squats. Um, uh, lunges are another one that are really tricky, especially if you're wanting the knee to touch the ground when you, when you step back or when you, whatever, um, they get really sticky. Um, and I usually have to triple layer my mat, my workout mat, if I'm doing anything that involves me being on my knees. <laughs> because otherwise it just hurts. Um, and that's not just because my knees are sensitive, I promise. Um, but I'll always give something a try. And like I can, I'm, I've been dealing with it for long enough now that I'm pretty good at also vocalizing when I know that it doesn't feel right. Um, so, yeah, communication is key. Who'd have fucking thought? Communication is key. In a 20 pound weight vest, yeah, okay. It's, um. <laughs> oh, God. There's always pretty pain friends in movie a lot of times. I'm living vicariously through this chat. Brilliant. Good. Glad to hear it. Walking is important at packs. It is, yeah. So I'll be I'll be wearing good shoes. Um and well this this um CrossFit workout that Kazi's talking about will be happening after packs anyway. But what that means is I'm also going to be doing it with a body that has walked around fifty to seventy thousand steps over three days. Um so Yeah. <laughs> but look, I'll still give it a red hot go. Um, and if there's stuff that I I just don't feel comfortable doing, and when I say comfortable, I don't mean like oh I don't, I don't. it's like no no my knee is my knee's cracking the shits like I I'm not gonna be able to do this. Um, there will be I am certain either modifications or something else that does something similar, um, or a way to support my knee so that my knee is not the thing carrying all the force and the pressure and the weight. Um, you know, spreading it evenly across other joints or other muscles or whatever it happens to be. 
Um, almost anything can be moderate, like uh, modified. It's just a question of whether or not those modifications will work for many. And if they do, hey presto, I may have found, found something I can do at home. Because so many, you would not believe, like all of these bloody workout videos and stuff on YouTube and, and DVDs. I've got a couple of old workout DVDs uh, and stuff like that. So many of it is just so knee intensive. So unbelievably knee intensive. Um, which really upsets me because if I want to go hard, I want to do it properly, I, I physically cannot. And very rarely do those kind of videos and stuff provide alternatives. Very rarely. Um, but, you know, that's... I don't really have money for a regular PT at this point, so I can't... <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I would do, is I would get a personal trainer and they would they would work around my, like, it is an injury, but it's not like an injury that's going to heal. It's never going to heal. It is, it is only ever going to get worse. And they, they'll be able to work around that, but, um, yeah, it just, it's expensive as fuck. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm. <clears throat> We're planning no. no. Uh, I'm just saying it's kind of standard. Just see where you're at. I am approximately half a mile in. Maybe. Maybe on a good day. When I've slept properly. Because <laughs> 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 that happens. Uh, so this year you're into supernova and heals. And not packing other shoes with winters in Melbourne. It was at all three days of the con. Regret was immense. You might have bled into my shoes at the end of it. Dang, I paid for three days. I was going to go. See, I would have gone into... Flew from Sydney to Melbourne. I would have just gone into the city and found somewhere and bought flats. <laughs> like... Done. Every soul can be redeemed if it desires to be. Even if they're going to be, like, even if I'm never going to wear them again and I toss them out at the end of the thing, I, I would absolutely I just go by, go, fly, go somewhere and buy flats. I've heard of the Murphy for example, I would be saying no weight vest, obviously, squatting to a depth, jumping pull ups, um, push ups on a box, and shortening the run. Yeah, you've mentioned her before, I think. I think I have her. Yeah, I've got her thing bookmarked. Um, I just. <laughs> Please refer past three months of my life. Uh, <laughs> have not had a chance yet. But yeah, you've you've mentioned it before. So scale the number of reps of people on that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing. Like, I can be fit. I can be strong. I just have to do it in a way that supports my body in its current state. That's all it is. Yes, maybe my my right leg won't ever be as strong as somebody else's right leg. But it can still be strong. In fact, having strength in that leg will probably help support my knee when it does start to hurt and it will make it hurt less and later and all that kind of stuff. I just I have to get there. And so few of the things I've managed to find have been able to help me get there. That's all. Um, but yeah, I do have that bookmarked still, so I'll have to I'll have to have another look. Um, I'm actually doing pretty well on my to-do list currently. Um, I'm I wrote off a whole bunch of stuff um, and pushed a few other things back and decided that they weren't as important as I thought they were. And I'm, I'm getting there, uh, which feels really good. And Jas has been helping as well. Like there have been a few things that have been on my to-do list uh, that he can do. And so he's been helping me by doing those so I don't have to, because everything that he does is, is time that I get back, um, which is amazing. Uh, what level is fear now? Fear is 57. And 64.82%. Doing all right. We're doing all right. Ah, uh, it was really an option. A lot of places she's my size as an issue. I was as much as individual as your decision to suffer instead. Well, at least you learned for next time. At least you learned for next time. Um, pistol squats are out, yeah. Um, I. <laughs> Yes, because I can do them with my left leg. But I don't, do you remember those toothpaste commercials? 
the toothbrush commercial, the, the, like, Colgate ads or whatever it was, with the people that were, like, regular size and had that one big bulky arm because they were brushing, because they were testing the toothbrushes. I don't want my legs to be like that. <laughs> so no pistol squats, because I can only do them on one side. If I was able to, like, if there's some kind of way to support while still putting some pressure on it, maybe? Like, I'm willing to try it, but if it feels wrong, and I, I know within my body now, I've, you know, I've had six years or whatever to figure this out, I know within my body what feels wrong. And so if I do one and then kind of go, that didn't feel right, and so, you know, make some adjustments and then try another one, I'll probably be like, no, nah, they, they don't feel right. Um, and just kind of tap out on that. And I'm sure you'd be understanding and you'd find something else to, to do instead. Because... Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you don't actually want to break me. Um, just just a little bit, but not actually broken, like recoverable broken. <laughs> but yeah, that it uh you know, the Oh shit, okay. I'm being spoken about. Yeah, you being helpful, Jess. When when I have my massive big long to-do list and there are things on there that you're able to do, you've been helping me by doing those. Uh, and I appreciate that. Very, very much. 100% I went with sneakers next time, but the heels for the photos I wanted to get it was bulky. I could still walk a few days afterwards. Yes, exactly. And that's like, it, sometimes the bulk is worth it. Sometimes it just, it's honestly worth it. Like, I'd love to wear heels to packs. Like, that'd be great, but it's just not viable. <clears throat> I'm actually thinking because I've got a pa I've got a pair of sneakers that I've had for about ten years now. Actually, they're still fine, but the like the fabric starting you know at the back it starts to split and the stuffing starts coming out and stuff. Um, and then I've got another pair that I bought from Aldi, which again is still pretty good. They're good for like going for a jog or whatever, but they're not very supportive. Like they're not supportive like that. So I'm thinking it might be time for me to invest in a proper pair of shoes. Um, but given how long sneakers can last, I'm, I'm happy to do that. And it's, a, it's not like I'm buying new shoes for the fun of it. It's actually a particular thing that I'm buying for a particular purpose. So yeah, I reckon I'd be okay with that. Confront your past or be condemned. Oh no! Maybe a little blood dripping down my knee. Oh my god! I feel like he would have been like, I, I, I've, I've, like I don't know him and I've never met him or anything, but I imagine he would have just been like, what are you? What did you do? Like he, I feel like he would have cared, <laughs> but you know, maybe not. It is no. Uh, Lucky Dark V Spam Zam. Ali and Dunno, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Oh, token chest. Who wants extra tokens? Fear does. Place your units. Uh. Faster? Not yet. I do have the kill two flying units is ticked off, so maybe I should go check if that turns into something. Uh, backstory. Okay, what I said, Krazy, was if you've seen the toothpaste commercials from many, many years ago, where they had like a normal, like skinny person and then big, bulky arm because they've been testing toothbrushes for so long. Um, pistol squats are out because I don't want to look like that, <laughs> except with my legs, because I can only do I can do them on the left side. Um, I'm assuming what you mean by pistol squat is that you, you squat down with one leg and the other one straight out, like locked knee in front of you, and then you, yeah. So I can do those, but only on one side. Um, I've never tried doing them, like, supported, so that there's less pressure on the other knee, but still enough to be working it, if that makes sense. So I'm not sure, but if, if that was, uh, an, uh, if that was an adjustment that could be made, I would absolutely try it, and I'm, I've been dealing with this for about six years now, so I know what feels wrong. 
So if I did it and it just didn't feel right, and then we made some more adjustments to see if it was better, and then I did another one and I'm like, no, this isn't working, then I'd just skip it. Like, I, I yeah. I, I, I know my, myself well enough to know when something's not right in my body, which is good. Um, and what I said was that I imagine that you want to break me, but not like irreparably broken. So <laughs> I'm sure you'd understand. The employee was probably freaked out, insisted. I got someone from staff, med team, take a look before he did the photo. Oh, that's awesome. That's really kind. No and that makes me happy. That makes me really happy. Uh, but does Nathan feel you remember it? Look, maybe. Maybe he wasn't like a squat. Yeah. Early dad, I took maybe like 10 minutes out of his day. I don't think it was that memorable. It meant the world to me. Look, honestly, you never know what's going to make an impression on somebody. That's why it's so important to like go into every interaction you have with kindness because you don't know what they're dealing with. You don't know what's going on with, with everything. And your little tiny, it could be two seconds of somebody and of, of, you know, somebody telling them, Hey, I like your hair. And that could make their entire day and they'll remember it for like months and months because it picked them up out of what was a shocking, do you know, you you never know, you never know. So he might still remember that. He might not remember you, but he might remember the event. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. Or he might remember you, which would be really freaking cool because Nathan Fillion is awesome. <laughs> uh, are you hungry at all? I still have some of the pizza here, but I'm honestly feeling kind of nauseous. I I feel like I should stop drinking. Yeah, stop drinking. Should stop eating pizza. Like I, I feel sick. Uh, if you're hungry, feel free to come. Wait for the sound of him running in here. But if you're still hungry, um, feel free to come get some pizza. Yeah. Uh, in fact, you can pistol even one leg is impressive. Most people can't. Oh, really? Well, I used to be able to. I, I don't know if I still can. Um, but we did them in in bowl. Confront your past fucking gnomes. One of our trainers. By. Yeah, no, she was a taskmaster and a half, but we got it done. Give pizza. Oh, you. You're welcome for obviously top bit. There's like there's a fruit fly or something in here which I've discovered falling on that bit. So maybe not eat that bit. Um, but I think there are two slices left, apart from that one. Very drop the pizza in half. I can remember some things, apparently. Bye -bye. Are we having bubble tea? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate! Uh, I want you to be completely knocked on your ass and wrecked after the workout, but not in an injured way. Exactly, and that's that's what it should be, right? Like, you push yourself to your limit so that your limit moves. It's the only way to do it. Like, I, um, Something I went for a jog this morning. First time this year I actually jogged. I've been going for walks. I have been going for walks, like, for, like, 2 to 3k, usually in the upper half, like, you know, somewhere like 2.8k or something. I've been, like, walking, and they're, like, a brisk walk. But I haven't actually, like, worked out. It's been really hard to find the time, and then when I have had time, I haven't had any energy. So, um... Today, I went for a jog. I restarted, because it has been literally months. Um, I restarted the Couch to 5k thing. And now that I have my magic watch, thank you, Zeren, um, it told me exactly how much I died. Uh, <laughs> um, I can actually, I can tell you my stats. Not that they'll mean much to many people, but that's fine. Um, where's the app? Uh, actually, let me, t first of all, I can tell you how far I went and stuff, because that'll be something that's marginally helpful. Uh, so it was 3.19k. So not too bad. Um, I walked 2.07ks and I jogged 1.12. Uh, my pace while walking was 1038 per kilometer, and while jogging it was 707 per kilometer. Average pace of 9.24. So not, like, I, I purposely didn't push myself with the jogs. I pushed myself when I was walking. I made sure it was a proper, like, walk-walk uh, for the most part, I think. But towards the end, I was a bit dead. But the jogs, I tried to pace myself. I tried to go a bit slower so that I wouldn't, like, burn out halfway through. Uh, and then... The fuck are my workouts? There they are. <laughs> 
I burned 247 calories. Um, my average, it was 29 minutes, 58 seconds. So pretty bloody close to, to 30 minutes. Um, the, cause the Couch 5k app and then the Fitbit are different. It didn't quite click the same. Yep. Uh, my average heart rate was 159. That's how I'm, from walking and jogging. That's how unfit I am. I spent one entire minute below the heart rate zones. I spent four minutes in the fat burn zone. I can tell you what those zones are if you were interested. I just have to find it. Um, but I spent four minutes in the fat burn zone. I spent 20 minutes in the cardio zone and seven minutes at peak. At peak. I know my peak is 172. My, my peak like range starts at 172, but the whole workout, my heart rate peaked at 181. <laughs> Which is not, I mean, again, according to a thing strapped to my wrist, so it's not stupid accurate, but it's better than nothing. It's better than trying to count while I'm running. Um, like counting while I'm running a little, yeah, it's great. Um, but yeah. I'll eat some pizza. He's like, oh, thank you, Ginny. Thank you. Jess will eat the pizza. I'll eat some pizza. You're welcome to the pizza, Crossy. You just have to kind of get here. But I have a feeling by the time you get here, Jess will have eaten it all. Um, I'd love it if he did. It'd be so cool. Uh, though I'd have to live with the fact that he remembered I stacked it before I met him. The cementing my clumsy status. But look, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Still being remembered by Nathan fucking Philly. Um, we my wife would leave me for Nathan Fillion, and, and I couldn't blame right. her, to be honest. Yeah, look. Look. Uh, testing my 5k time tomorrow, not keen. Oof. Yeah, I, um, look, this will build me to a 5k, eventually. Um, I've kind of, because I know I'm on, like, I know how unfit I am. Um, I'm sort of saying to myself that if I make it through a session pretty okay, then I'll go to the next one. But if I really struggle... Or if I start walking before I'm supposed to or anything like that, I have to repeat that session. I need to make sure that I'm okay before I move on to the next one. I think that's a pretty, like, safe way to do it. Um, but yeah, I, I know that I'm really unhealthy, like, in a lot of different ways. I'm learning more. Every goddamn day I'm learning more things that are wrong with my body. Uh, but look, doing my best. She's now gift. Oh, that one came through. Why did that one come through? Oh, did that? It didn't. It didn't get changed to um, asterisks. That's really odd. Maybe Twitch knew it wasn't an because it wasn't like a URL because it was a .gif. Um, they're based on heart rates. No, I know. I was gonna say I can tell you what my rate, right? My heart rate is in each of those zones if you are interested, because I I can find it in the app because it calculates it somehow with all the data I've given it. <laughs> God, Fitbit knows so much about me and knows more about me than I do. Ah, uh, the watches have heart rate as they do. Use wrist counters too. They go all right. Oh yeah, okay. I I do wear it there, and it is it is snug. Like it's not tight, but it's if I tightened it by one more notch, my hand would be throbbing. So it's it's tight enough, kind of thing. Um, but it's it's not going to be as accurate as like a hospital heart rate monitor. But it's a good indication. You don't, like, when you're working out, you don't need an exact heart rate thing unless you're doing some kind of stress test for medical reasons. So, ac like, reasonably accurate is enough. It's fine. At least that's what I figure. But yeah, my, uh... Where's my... 247 calories. <sighs> I was, I hurt after that. It was unpleasant. Stoneborn brutes are strong, but, but their aim leaves something to be desired. Right, so my no fat burn zone is 122 to 144. My cardio is 144 to 171. And then peak is 171 plus. According to this. Which of course, you know, only calculates on the data that they're given and it's not a doctor. It's a f app with a watch. So, I just trust the calories burnt according to a risk or any other monitor that weighs higher than they really should be. Interesting. Okay. Noted. 
I thought that the Fitbit, because um, the the Fitbit said that I burnt like 247 calories, and then the Couch to 5K app said I burnt 180, and I'm like, that is a big difference. That's a 67 calorie difference. But the app doesn't know how goddamn unfit I am. It doesn't know, like, do you know what I mean? So it's, I know it, I think it has, like, you put your weight in. It does. Oh! Yeah, no. That's not how much I weigh, honey. Not even close. Add your weight to calculate number of calories burned during workouts. It, no. It is, it is like eight kilos off. Good. All right, let's adjust that and see what it says. Set weight. Now what does the log say? No, it still says 180. Maybe it's because I, it doesn't update retroactively. Maybe it doesn't update retroactively. But yeah, maybe that's why the difference was so big. Oh dear. Uh, apparently 171 is my peak. Apparently, according to thing. Well, the app. According to the app. Um, I don't know how it calculates that. I, I genuinely don't know. Um, our heart rate zones. Personalizes your heart rate zones using your heart rate reserve, which is the difference between your maximum heart rate asterisk and your resting heart rate. My resting heart rate is shit as well. Um, That's current. I want. Where's my resting? Apparently, my resting at the moment is 78. Um, heart rate reserve is an indication of your overall cardiovascular fitness. While your maximum heart rate is generally determined by age, your resting heart rate can be lowered by increasing your fitness level. Uh, by lowering your resting heart rate, you can increase your heart rate reserve. Um,. And it's got like a calculation that it's got there. The common formula is apparently 220 minus age. Then that wouldn't put me at 171 and put me even lower, uh, even higher than that. Maximum heart rate, 220. I can't do math in my head right now. 32, it puts me at 188. Oh, is that before you die or like? Yes, it is, okay. <laughs> So yeah, my, my peak is is 171 to 188, which is my maximum. Um, no, I know my resting age. Uh, so my my I'm currently 92, and my resting is 78. <laughs> I told you I was unhealthy. My my cardio fitness score is 31 to 35 average. And it is fair to average for women my age. <clears throat> yeah, those, so this has got the um, use your heart rate uh, reserve to calculate your personalized heart rate zones. Um, so yeah, it's got how it calculates it all there. So that's how it's done it for me. So yeah, 122, 144, 171, and then max is 188 because of my age. Uh, seems really high. Usually you can tell when you're dominant. Yeah, um, mine's on my non-dominant arm, and it it's, says that in the app because it would just get like, because of the way I use my keyboard, the wrist rest, I actually rest my palm, the heel of my palms on there, which is what you're supposed to do. Because if you rest it on here, you're going to get, that's how you trigger your carpal tunnel. Um, so I rest that there. So this is off, like the wrist rest sits here. So there's a big gap there. Whereas for my mouse, I actually put my wrist on the wrist rest, which would just irritate the shit out of me. So um, that's why it's on my non-dominant. <laughs> uh, how far was the run and how long did it take all up? 3.19. 3.19, half now. The master is and it was alternating walking, jogging, walking, jogging, but like overall, an average, yeah. Darkest 
Greetings. More Be for sure. We have mammoths went to for last week. Uh, resting HR won't be what it is right now. You have some stress will increase it. Yeah. And talking and flailing my arms around increases my heart rate. Uh, zone 5 would be 171 plus. Well, one time is my pulse was too high. I asked if there's anything that would have my pulse so high. I told them questioning me about my pulse probably wasn't helping. Yeah. Yeah. Also the fact that you're preparing for the stabby. I just saw this. Uh, should I get a couple done off screen? Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, it's good. Did I? Oh, good lord. Sorry, I'm so distracted. I'm so sorry. Ah! Bubble tea! Thank you. Thank you. you any icing? Yes. Oh. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's well. Stubby! Yes. Stubby and Pels. What is your resting heart rate? Resting, but it's currently at 87. Wait, and then swipe. Because your resting is 62. Jas is lots healthier than fear. But he also does manual labor for a job. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, 3K, half an hour. It was at 230 cal. So it'd be about right. Um, the Fitbit said 247. And the app, the Couch to 5K app said 180. So that's about smack bang in the middle. So that's, yeah, <laughs> about right. About right. Uh, my heart rate just <laughs> Um, Jesus fuck. Yeah, he's, he is quite fit. He is quite fit. So back when we were doing, like, going for jogs together, when it was jog time, I would jog just, just carefully, try not to burn myself out. And he would piss off. He would bolt up the road and he would really like let loose. He would get so far away because he would have one earbud in and I would have the other one so that we could both hear when the Couch to 5K would ping us to start walking again, right? He would get so far away that it would disconnect from the Bluetooth and he'd have to like loop back around and run back until it started playing again and then keep going and it'd do it again and then he'd loop back into the and then when it said walk he'd come he'd run back to me and then start walking with me man is fit woman is not fit <laughs> he he's he's hella fit like he's his cardio fitness is ridiculous but he is also goddamn 23, so... 58! Like, he's he's a lot... No, oopsie. He's a lot younger than I am. Um, and he's been active all of his life, whereas I very much haven't. So I, I get it. It sucks, but I get it. <laughs> uh, yep. See yourself out. By the sun well. Mm. Ah! Okay, thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. The resub five months. My gosh, looking forward to that bottle smile coming in the next few months. Oh my god, me too. <gasps> oh my god, me too. Um, I have to start getting on to people about the um I don't know, I don't know if it's time to do the alignment stuff yet. Uh, I have to have to call my dentist and find out like when in the whole treatment plan that's supposed to happen. Um, because it might be time. I don't know, not sure. Um, right, I'd say my jog speed is roughly my fast walk, yeah. You've also got, like, okay, so Jas also has an extra, like, six inches worth of leg on him, so, <laughs> so there's that, I mean, I have very, I have very long legs for my height, I am mostly leg, less, less torso, more leg. Um, and he has like a rough, I think it's, I think he's roughly like a halfway split. Pretty sure his hips are about halfway down his body, but his legs are still longer than mine because he's taller by a fair bit. Um, so that makes sense. Uh, Zen person moves on the Discord, seems accurate. Uh, he's always accurate. He just hasn't aged now, he's a baby. Uh, he's not a baby, he's a man. He's a grown ass man. Uh, do you know your 5k run time? Jas, do you know your 5k run time? And if not, we can find out. 
I'm planning on going to the gardens tomorrow to have a picnic. You can take your running shoes and I can sit down and drink my bubble tea and clock you while you run 5k around the block, around the, the garden. <laughs> I don't think he'll be amenable to this. Yes, do contribute to the, uh, what's it? The challenge. The stream challenge, the community challenge. Uh, we've only got two days to knock this one out because it's the second half of the week. So... We gotta get to 50% today. If you would like to see me collect a whole bunch of battle pets in May, climb up those data for Azeroth rankings, like we know I want to. Um, yeah, you can you can ship in your embers by clicking the little purple campfire underneath the chat box, clicking the banner that says pet uh, pet collecting stream, and uh, and then you can contribute. You don't have to do 2k. You can do a, like if you don't have 2k, you can do a smaller amount, and then as you earn more throughout the stream. You can chip in more, and then you can chip in up to another 2k on Sunday. Is it going to be disrespect intent? Of course, of course. But yeah, just, um... Stone yeah, that's, uh... Are strong, but their aim leaves something to be desired. When, you, when you've got a group of friends who are all quite a bit older than you, it kind of becomes a bit of a thing, and so I try to reinforce that just because he's younger doesn't take anything away from his contributions to any sort of group. It just makes him, like, have a better metabolism than all of us, and I hate it. <laughs> oh, God. Like, he could eat twice as much shit as I'm eating, and he won't gain a kilo, and then I'll be sitting there, like, ten kilos heavier, like, why? It's just not fair. It's just not fair. I don't text on myself. Can you quickly do a fuck run? We can see your run time. Oh, I agree with Sam. Cooler at night, perfect time. Oh no no no! It's all it all good, dude. All good. Um, it's all good. Doing these ones. No um. I'm sure at some point we'll go for... Well, we won't. We can just plot something out and then I can sit down and wait for him to get home. And, and... <laughs> I don't think we have a... Oh, I, we probably have to do it on a... We couldn't do it on a treadmill, though. That doesn't work. I don't think we have a 5k track around here or a track that's a loop that, like... Everywhere around here would have, like, you'd have to wait for, a, like, a crossing or whatever, and then you'd have to start up and you slow down and so it messes with your times and stuff. I have to figure out if there's somewhere near us that is actually a thing for a park run. Park run. Did you run 2.5k then? Turn around! Parkrun.com.au Is this not... What is Parkrun? Okay, so Saturday morning events. Where is like the events bit? Events! Parkrun. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's a large map of the Australia. I keep getting distracted. <laughs> I'm meant to be leveling. Zooming, zooming, zooming. Oh, I see the Brisbane River. We're getting close enough. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. <clears throat> See course page for more details. Every Saturday at 7am. Good lord. I don't want to be up that early. Uh. Some of the nearer ones. Oh, okay. That's how far, <laughs> that's how far away they are, not what the distance is. Good. Course page for more details. Course map. Oh, good lord. Oh, I don't ever want to do that. Oh, good lord. Oh, that's terrible. Mm -mm. 
I don't want to do that. Anyway, I'm not getting distracted. <laughs> Look, you're not wrong. Um, could you back and forth with the driver? The problem with that would be to see is I'm not sure how accurate it'd be. I would have to figure out where exactly the like the kilometer markers are and stuff. Like that's that's my concern. Um, is getting it accurate. But this is this is a loop. This is a loop. Um, starts at the Riverside Green, head south along the Clem Jones Promenade. This is in South Bank. Uh, Clem Jones Promenade towards the Goodwill Bridge. This is the closest one to the city. Um, I hear you've cross the Goodwill Bridge. Did he mention me? Uh, then head straight up towards QT into the Botanical Gardens along Central Path. Turn right towards the river. Then complete a series of left turns for a small loop inside the Botanic Gardens. Uh, before going clockwise around the perimeter of the gardens, then back onto Bunya Walk and back towards Google Bridge, cross back over the bridge, back along the promenade, finishing back at Riverside Green. So that little loopy bit is the bit that confuses me. Um, I don't think they explain it very well. <clears throat> so you get up the central path, turn right towards the river, then complete a series of left turns for a small loop inside the Botanic Gardens. Where... Where is this loop? Oh, I see. So you go up Central Path, then you hit the river, then you do like a diamond shape. Then go back up towards QT. And then clockwise around the perimeter of the gardens. I see. I would still need that on my phone with a marker saying where I am to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Enjoy your time. Do they have an app? <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those. Average finish time is 31.20. Nah. <laughs> nah. That's a pretentious. Ah, uh, here, let me give you a... There you go. That's what, sorry. That's what I'm looking at. Duh. It's got a map there. Ah, uh, good. We also find kilometer route between Queensland University of Technology and New Farms on Brisbane. Seen equal stunning views of the Brisbane River, but I don't know how it's Ooh, but I have to get there and then do the run. That's the problem. My well, community is just free, and it'd be better. Yeah, like it looks like a really cool thing. I just can't do five k's. But that's what the thing's for. That's what the app's for. Ah, uh, fuck you, time goes when legend that you get stuck in traffic. <laughs> yeah. Uh <clears throat> you can walk it. No, I I know, but it's also at 7 a.m. That's sleeping time. Given that I stream so late, this is this is the thing. Given that I'm streaming till 10, by the time I raid someone and spend a little bit of time with them, maybe get all my post-streamy stuff. Yeah, just went funny. Um, get all my post-stream stuff done. Then get ready for bed, like, you know, take a shower and do my skincare and all that kind of stuff. Like, I get into bed pretty late to then get up super early. And one of the things, one of the things that was drilled into me ever since yeah, I was diagnosed with this thing is that sleep is one of the most important things for autoimmune conditions. Sleep helps your body repair the damage it has done to itself. So, like, my, what I, what I have at the moment, like, my eight hours is technically from 11.30 till 7.30. That's my eight hours. And I very rarely get that because it takes me forever to fall asleep. That is like 11.30 is when my sleep is supposed to start, but I tend to get into bed around 11 um, to try to give myself the extra time to try to sleep. But it um, doesn't always work. But yeah, look, I mean, it'd be great, but I'd have to not stream on a Friday so I could get to bed early enough, so I could get up early enough, so I could get out there and do it. Maybe once I've done that, once I finish, we'll, we'll celebrate. And I can, st um, can I stream those? Let's strap my phone to my chest and just show you where I'm running. Like, <laughs> that, 
Bats, I'm sure people have made phone harnesses. He always every week he's going to every daughter wants to do it. He loves it. Aww. Sips the most more than Dendra. Yes, it, it is. It is. And I'm bad at it. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's I no, but it's important. It should be caps. Sleep is so important. Gamers, we find pride in playing games. Honestly, it's not like I'm 32. It's not a point of pride anymore. Like I know, I know I'm a night owl. I get more of my stuff done. It, like I'm more productive at night. I feel more awake and more capable of doing things. Like after 12, like after midday. Um, but I. <laughs> no. I stream these hours because these are the hours that most people are online to watch streams and stuff. Like, this is business hours because it's when I'm going to make the most profit in terms of having more viewers, you know? But, um, it's not... There is no point in, like, people being proud that they can pull an all-nighter and people, like, yeah, no, I'm up to 3 a.m. every night playing my game because it's that important to me. No. If it was that important to you, you'd prioritize other things during the day so that you can play at an appropriate hour, get sleep, so you can be better at the game. Like, you know, logic and stuff. But that's, you know, each their own. They're gonna do what they're gonna do, and I'm gonna try to sleep. <laughs> ah, Massacre. What is going on? Where, what are we, we're fine. It's fine. Head harnesses, just strap my phone to my, yeah, it's like, I can see, totally. Uh, Throw in wish list a GoPro. How? I'll have to figure out if a GoPro can actually work to stream. I know they can record. It's a camera, of course it can. But in terms of streaming, live to Twitch, that could be interesting. Good afternoon as well. I was going to coach my coach for the AM class. Love getting up early, having everything done. I do agree with that particular thing, and I have been trying to get up at seven thirty when my alarm goes off. I've not been super good at that, um, especially lately, because I've just been so wrecked. In in you know, I mean, I was recovering from surgery. That's a pretty good excuse. But prior to that, I just I had so much stress and all that kind of stuff that I just needed a bit of rest. Um, but at least I, like, I wake up at 7.30 and then kind of doze for a bit, but lately I've managed, I've been managing to get out of bed at, like, 8, which is an improvement. So I've just got to keep working at it. Um, you know, just shave off a few minutes, get up a few, a couple minutes earlier every day until I'm getting up at 7.30 like I'm supposed to, and, and that's good. But I have, like, when I'm, when I go for my, like, walks and jogs and stuff, like, when I was doing that, I was doing it in the morning. Um, because I, prior to that, I was going after work on Tuesday and Thursday. And I just, I'd feel like I'd, like, I'd work all day and then I'd go for my run or my jog or whatever. But I'd get home and I'd cool off from that and then I'd be like, okay, I can make dinner and eat dinner and now I have to go to bed. Like, it just, I felt like I hadn't, I didn't have any time on those days. Uh, so doing it in the morning on the Monday, Wednesday, Friday is feels a bit better in terms of space between tasks, if that makes sense. Okay, let's try that again. It is a token chest. It is going to be difficult. It says challenge level very hard. So be sure to place your units, as many as you've got, one every five minutes. And let's get this done. Oh, still 14 minutes left on that one. God damn it. But I can place my Berserker again. And my Berserker is strong against these ones, so that's nice. Uh, These little guys cannot attack flyers. Oh no! Ah, watch someone streaming the fishing splucy. Uh, before kids, I got up ten minutes before work. Yeah, now I'm up three to four hours before work. Yeah, look. The problem with, um, so people like Splucy, fantastic. Um, they're streaming with a GoPro. What else are they using? Is it direct from the GoPro? Doubt it. That's the, that's the we thing. We have eternity to know you. Fact. Right. 
The master is watching. Always watching. Ah, uh, I've already spoken to that one. Oops. Ah, uh, someone else feeling him. Ah, okay. Um. Some people list their stuff, like list their kit, their gear, all that kind of stuff, but um Splucy doesn't. That's okay. Maybe you met them at PAX. Oh, I don't remember that though. Okay. Is there anyone I can talk to to extract Amina from? Or am I done? I'm done. Figures. First new soul, I see an Gorky. Alive. The battleships was Gorky. Did not realize that they did. Um, Approach freely. I, the person you're referencing with blue hair is Gorky. Um, I don't remember them ever mentioning anything about fishing. Um, oh. Right, they're up there. Oops! <laughs> so you used to having to go downstairs. Hi. The redemptions doing the redemptions. Oh, ow. That one was a clunk. Oh. Okay. So we've got an hour and a half to get a level and 86%. Oopsie. Let's let's push. Let's see if we can get there. I doubt it, but we can try. Gross. I'm ready. 
Like, what am I chewing on? Chewing on a piece of thread. Well, it feels like a piece of thread. I know it's not, technically, but... <clears throat> Dob wobble, cob wobble, slob wobble. I am very tired. You know how I know? That's a Briar Bane Sentinel. My brain read it as a Brisbane Sentinel, and I was like, what? Chat for those Christmas sentinels. <laughs> is that a thing? Like, is that actually a thing? <clears throat> Clearly, you have come seeking the best. I am uh, sixty percent through Revendreth. I'm thinking once I finish Revendreth, I might try Torghast. Apparently, it's a pretty hefty chunk of XP and it might actually finish us off. Yes? No. I do not know. Are they a sports ball team? And I don't use sports ball as in like an if offensive like sports are stupid as in genuinely like uh, sorry I should have said are they a sports team? Um because I, I don't know anything about any sport. I know we have a Brisbane Heat and that's it. Hydrate! Right. There's a good chance Kazi is lying. Yeah, also that. Let's dive it into the Googles. Brisbane. Sen. Not N. Sen. Not seniors. Senten. Sentinel Brisbane. Sentinel Property Group. They're a real estate firm. Property investment firm. Even worse. No. Okay. Bobsled team. Yeah. Confirmed. I love that two minutes after I said, let's not get distracted, I got distracted. Story of my life. Want to level character? Nah, Google Brisbane Sentinels instead. Right, you need to watch out for them, yes. Correct. I'll try to in increase my rent. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Thank you for that hydrate lox, it was delicious. I sat down and watched the full runnings of the boys about a year back, it was pretty fun. It's a great movie. Like, it's such a good movie. <clears throat>
One of you needs to give me a venom gland, please. Thank you. Just what I was after. <clears throat> Take me with you. Remember me next time you're in for a fight. What do you need? I am obligated to obey. Hmm, let us poison the bottle. Poison him. What adventure do you need me for today? So, why the demon hunter? Uh, because they're overpowered as hell. And it was my closest tune to 60 on Alliance already. Um, and also to make it a lot easier to get those Alliance only mounts and stuff, right? Cannot. Being max level mean I'll trounce most things, so that'd be nice. For the Alliance! Indeed. Indeed. To be clear, it is an April Fool's joke. But, yeah, why not? Buy-in. I'm not a paladin! Uh, correct. Death. I have re-rolled and yet still not a paladin. Paladin though I feel unclean. No, it's okay, Crazy Paladins are fine. I'm just not one. I'm just not one. What is it the cleanest? Are they though? Jas has got a paladin as well. These hands are always dirty. Power of the light. I know that I worry. Makes sense that is, yeah. <laughs> ah. His hands honestly were a lot cleaner than they have been recently. But it's just like compared to my hands, still filthy. Because my hands are incredibly clean. I don't handle dirty stuff and I don't handle grease and I, I use hand cream and you know, like, yeah, it's <laughs> very different. Very different. So how does become bad guys though? First two colors you know, can get through to absolute power corrupts. Absolutely, yes. Indeed. You get some hit my gear. Oh no! Oh no! I've I've started slowly but surely transmogging all of my tunes 
to the vent theater set. The one that's like like available. It is quite yeah. good to see you. Uh, in fact, I can show you. Uh, this one. All of my tunes are wearing this set. And then picking out a weapon that suits. Eh. Eh. There are not many glaives. That's closer, but it's still not quite. Is that? Actually, there are some fist weapons that suit beautifully. Um, actually, do I have access? They might be monk only now that I think about it. Oh no! Yeah, I think they might be. <laughs> there is a particular. shades and everything. Except for the red, but it's close enough. How much did that cost? I missed it. I don't care. Gold is- what is, what is gold? Um... It's too rare. It's be honourable instead. Next to your clothes and those battle boots. Invent the nothing really works well on Torin, it feels. Aw, that's a pity. I do have a Torin. I wonder what. I've also got a female. Like, my Torin's a female, though. So maybe that's why it, I feel like it works better. Yay, Zem! Contributing to the pet collecting stream! Um. We're gonna get to 50% today. We're close. We're really close. We've only got, I think, like three more people and we'll be at 50%, I think, if my math is right. That's a bonus. I'm gonna say the color, the, they're beautiful. So good. So good. Sorry, I just got an email from someone important and, like, um. So I got an email about uh, an opportunity. And before any information was given at all about who it was or what it was or anything, they needed demographic information. And it's from somebody I trust. I wouldn't just go handing out my demographics to any random person who emails me because it's just, it's not appropriate. Um, but this is a contact I trust um, who has come to me before with stuff. And so I, I trust them. And so I, I was like, yay for demographic, you know, data's fun. Uh, and then laid out all my demographic data. And the, the first line of the email was demographics are fun in capitals, are fun. Thank you for being a data nerd like me. Like, so it's just, when you have that kind of rapport with people who are gonna pay you, it's really nice. So <laughs> it just, it made me happy. <sighs> hey, more contributions, thank you. Thank you very much, Ali. Only a couple more to go. I think it's a 125 goal. So the halfway point would be 62.5. So we need one more person plus a bit. Plus a bit. You are so refreshingly fresh. You are so refreshingly fresh. Good. I'm glad. I showered. I hope you're all having a really nice night. I'm really enjoying myself. This might be chill, and it might be a fairly quiet stream compared to some of the really chatty ones we've had lately, but I'm, uh, this is really, I'm really enjoying myself. So I hope you guys are too. Um, thanks, it's O to shower. Yep. 50%. Is it 50? 
Why does it not show me, like, oh, it is 50. Uh, maybe it's... Maybe it takes a second, because usually it does that celebration, like, community challenge, 50% completed it, and it hasn't done that. Which is sad, but we are! We're at 50%! Well done. So now we're going to do that again on Sunday. Don't don't let that stop you from contributing. If you want to see it and you've got the embers, feel free to chuck them in. You can contribute up until we've ma reached the max of the whole thing. Um, but we will have more time on Sunday if you so desire. Um, and of course you can contribute again on Sunday, up to a max of 2k today and on Sunday. Um... Do we ever contain any private pieces of information, though? No. Not of mine. But it's still kind of... It's, like... Yeah, it, it's kind of... It's it's a bit odd. Like, if someone who I... would Like, I had an email today, for example, that had an opportunity. Like, a, an actual valid opportunity. But it went to my spam folder. Because Google was questioning the email address. Um, so, like, that kind of a thing, like, I'm, I'm not just gonna go sending it out because I don't, if you've got some company who's, okay, so, when you put together, like, a pitch or something, having your demographic information there is really important because people will aim for a bit, like, you know, if it's an Australian company that only serves Australia, they want to make sure that the majority of your viewers are Australian, right? If there is a dodgy company out there who are trying to get stuff, like if they're trying to put together pitch decks and they're including other random people on those pitch decks without their consent in order to appear larger and having more influence than they actually do, and they got a hold of my demographic data, accurate, up-to-date demographic data, then they could potentially include me on something that I have not consented to be included in. Does that make sense? So it's not dangerous in terms of like, who's he, what's it's coming to hunt me down, but it is too. still information that can kind of protect my me. business interests. Not quite to the level of trade secrets, but it's still not a super, like, I mean, I talk to you guys about my demographic, like we talk about where, where percentages of, of people come from and stuff like that, but that changes every so day, obviously. Um, and it's the not like, a cache of curious weapons you know, a company trying to do the dodgy would have to scour through hours and hours and hours of my footage to find that information. Unless they're actively sitting here waiting for me to say something that can make them include me. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's unlikely. But sending it out in an email is a little bit... So that's kind of... That's a red banner for me. Oh, cool. Maybe it's because I saw the 25% one earlier. I'm not sure. Since you were watching. Aw, oh, thank you, Shopa. Much appreciated. Look at all those contributions. Amazing. I want to see no stinking pet stream. Then, I mean, but then, and then you can contribute because that makes sense. I get it. But hey, it's a chill thing. It's a chill thing. Maybe the kids will enjoy it, Crazy. Maybe just don't give them the headphones. <laughs> or the or the uh, the captions. The negative crazy ones about stream, yeah. Understood. Yeah, for business stuff. Yeah, it's it's one of those. It's like don't give out your demographics, but why? Uh, good question. There are a few, like, it's not, it's not super, super dangerous, but it's also make and work for it, kind of, you know, it's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I actually responded to a few emails today that were, um, opportunities. One really goddamn big one, actually. Um, oh, that'll be, that'll be an interesting one. I'm not sure. They seem keen. But I'm not sure what the contract will be like. There might be some clauses in the contract that I won't want to do for any less than like a hundred grand. <laughs> like, um, 
We're not talking about anything that would get me banned from Twitch. There's, there's just... I'll tell you when I can tell you. But, um, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, hello, Daz. Welcome back. Yay, absolutely. Hey, why are you re-rolling? Um, because it's the 1st of April. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Jericho? <laughs> Welcome back. No extreme. No more only found good lord. Speaking of opportunities, you guys want to see if you see more opportunities. Yes, totally follow my socials. You oh god, not wrong, not wrong. I'm trying to get to 1,000 on Instagram. 1,000 on Instagram. Um, when I get to 1K on Instagram, I can make a pitch deck. Because having a pitch deck where it's like 8.8k followers here, 2.9k followers. Well, actually, I'm closer to 3,000 than I am to. Oh no, I had a few unfollows. So 2.9k followers on Twitter. 923 on Instagram. No, that's no. Wrong. So yeah, I need to build that Instagram following so I can build a pitch deck that doesn't look like crap. Uh, <laughs> and then I can send it to businesses, to brands, and Splendid and propose work. that they sponsor me or make me an affiliate or, or whatever they they have available. Like, But yeah, Instagram is the big one. Instagram's where the big bucks are. Um... You can easily fall. No, 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 not at all, Jericho. Not at all. I was trying. I was trying to think of um, like an April Fool's joke that I could do that wouldn't harm anyone, that wouldn't make anyone the butt of a joke, or or anything like that. Um, and this is what I came up with. And this way, I actually get to like do something that I've been wanting to do anyway, which is level my alliance tune so that I have a sixty on the other faction. So hey, two birds, one stream. Gnomely fans, oh that's good, it is good. Jesus Christ. Uh, right. Speaking of. Button. Button pushy! It was legit in 95 credits you preferred alliance. You can do it in crossroom! That... I didn't think of that. But no. No, I I do enjoy being on Horde side, um, and I also love my mage. I, I adore my mage. And if I was going to transfer to Alliance, I would probably just like if I was, if I genuinely wanted to, I would probably just pay to transfer my mage. Uh, but I do genuinely enjoy playing Horde. So, uh, nope, is is a is a fool, is a joke, is a mildly funny. Paladin and no, not falling for that, sure. Sure. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my mouse battery's getting a little low. So I googled only fans as a thing, of course it is. There's only real faction. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <clears throat> Alright. Uh you can blame dupe for this. That is only gonna be here for two minutes. So it's okay. Ooh, battle. Deathwalker pause, but I can't find any Deathwalkers. Why is that? Ah, uh, that does look like a little physical stuff for whatever only play. Oh, having a max Yeah, well, I mean, I've got 30. Left. 
And so in this I went through because I was not looking at chat, don't matter anything suddenly. So hearing Vivian's voice changes to Larry. I'm glad you found it funny, Lucky. I'm glad. I think we're doing better this time around. Where's the Soviet agreed? You are not prepared, Lucky. You were not prepared. Okay, I fixed now. <laughs> I would have, uh, Dupe is making a dirty joke about orgasms. Uh, Bjorn, Wen, Lucky, Fej, Dano, Kledgy, Neke, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I hope you all got a wonderful number of tokens. Enjoy. We are doing a gold chest. Ah, uh, the I'm dying out. <laughs> Why has it not been clipped? I'm disappointed. Perfect clippable moment. No one took it. I really thought he's like, no, no. Maybe you're tired or distracted or stressed or something like that, Jericho. It's all good. It's okay. Or maybe you weren't expecting a, a, you know, a dirty joke in a random place. It's nothing wrong with that. Don't stress. You're totally fine. It's true that I don't know how to clip anything. Uh, there's a, there's a hotkey you can press. I don't know what that is. Um, but if you hover over the stream, there should be like a little, like, you know, the movies, the clack thing. I don't know what it's Stay called. Stay a while and listen. If you click that, it will grab you the last 60 seconds of stream. Let me confer with my sources. Or 30, I think it's 30. But no. it, it grabs the last 60 seconds and then shows 30 seconds as a clip and then you can like adjust the start and finish time to like get your perfect clip uh, and then give it a fun name and all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, but I'm not sure. You'd probably have to, because it's been a little while ago now, you'd probably have to do it from the VOD rather than from, um, like, you, if you try to do it now, it won't have the, the voice line in it anymore because it's not in the last 30, uh, last 60 seconds. <clears throat> uh, I'm just pure-hearted. Sure, that's what it is. Good. Glad to hear it. I recognize the cap, but I'm ignoring it for funsies. Darkest greeting. Ah, oh, check out the after stream. Aw. Is that, do you honestly rewatch the whole damn stream, Zam, and, cl and, re and clip things? Is that, my god. You know, I considered doing that a couple years back and then realized I'd be spending 24 hours a week watching my own stream back and I just can't do it. But I guess if you've, if you've missed bits of it because you've arrived late or whatever, then I guess it's just you watching the stream rather than rewatching it. Um, but I massively appreciate that. Good lord. Jesus Christ. We ended up with 70-something clips for February and March, by the way. After I, after I whittled things down a little bit. There were a couple that, like, they were, they were kind of funny, but it was also sort of like, is this going to be entertaining to people who don't understand it? The con like, uh, I, so I left a few of those, but then some were gone, and then there were a whole lot of like accidental clips or whatever. Um, there were quite a few clips that Jack did, and I was like, "You are absolute." He absolutely clipped it so he could go back and watch and figure out what was going on. Or would, like, yeah. Um, there was a moment where we wiped because of an explosive, and so he grabbed the clip so he could go back and figure out where the hell the explosive was. And like, you know what I mean? It's it's those kind of things. And I found those like I was like, yes, I'm glad I am providing a service. <laughs> oh lord, I didn't know that. They go lucky, learn something new every day. Hopefully, someone else has learned something as well today. Last night. oh, 90 seconds. You click up to 60. Yes, I like listening in the background while doing stuff. Ah. That's amazing of you, Zam. Jesus Christ. That's so cool. So confusing to be watching old streams. I keep wanting to start typing responses. Yeah, I can imagine. Like, if I had started as, like, YouTubing or whatever, then that's one thing. But I, because I'm live, because you're used to me being live, going back and watching it not live, 
Must be kind of trippy. we're stuck at home for seven days mm, no but I'm kind of gonna my brain has sort of just assumed it's COVID related because that's kind of why anyone stays at home for that long these days I'm so for brands etc I kind of went with quantity over quality a little yeah for sure everything will be that entertaining oh absolutely and you know what I would rather you get so many clips that half of them are meh um rather than getting like three clips that are all fantastic but like missing a ton of other do you know what i mean like i i i rather the quantity over quality because then it's up to me to whittle down what i want to use so that's that's like yeah for sure absolutely it's really really good i had a i used to use a service that um after after I finished a stream, it, it would its algorithm would automatically detect super cool moments in stream and automatically clip them. Um, but it it was grabbing it was grabbing a fair few per stream, like you know six or seven clips a stream, and I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool or whatever. And then the day that we killed Nazoth for the first time on stream, the group of us, like a, a, a totally viewer group, killed Nazoth. It grabbed a clip from a moment halfway through the fight, and then it grabbed a clip of when we were in the room after the cutscene, but it didn't grab a clip of the actual kill. When chat exploded, and and there was lots of noise on stream, and all that kind of, like, all of those sort of algorithmic detections of when a thing is going to be hype, it missed all of it. So yeah, I, I, that's when I stopped using it because <laughs> it was not doing a very good job. The clips were shit. Now twenty percent met at max. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I had all the all the clips from the about the Wailera stuff. Um, I'm I'm like I'm holding on to them, but like I I don't want to like. Oh, I think maybe I'm holding on to one. But I don't want to post it anywhere until they pay me. <laughs> you know, like I do need to reach out to them though. Um, there are a few brands I've got on my list now. Cause back, you know, when I like I'm working with Blizzard, working with Logitech, the Bubble Tea Club, like what the hell else do I want to work with? I'm starting to now like actually discover brands I'd like to work with, um, which is nice. Um, I'm feeling like that's a reference to something, but I don't know what it is. Sorry, Perksy. But my throat's uh, my throat's feeling a lot better. Um, everything's pretty much fine. I spat out a stitch earlier on stream because I was like, "What is this thing I'm chewing on?" The oh, um, so the stitches are slowly but surely removing themselves from my gums, and my throat is back to normal. Um, no sign that there was ever anything wrong. 
which is kind of odd, isn't it? Like, you know, you go through this whole period of time where you're in agony and it's horrible and everything's bad and blah, 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 blah. And then there's not even a mark left afterwards. No, no, nothing. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, school scene, random ass, let's as well. It is, it is. And there are a couple that are really like slice of life streams that are kind of funky. But then there are some other, uh, so, sorry, uh, slice of life clips. Um, but then there are some other ones where it's kind of like, Oh yeah, it is pretty random, yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's not, that's not a random clip, that's just dead air. <laughs> and I'm like, why, why is that a clip? So, um, what the thing is, the annoying part is that if you click the clip button, if you click the clip button, the clip saves. If you adjust it, if you if you look at it and go oh shit that's not what I meant to do and then close it out it doesn't matter the clip has already been created um, you can rename it you can adjust it you can even be sitting there and you can adjust it and then you can give it a name and be like nah whatever and then close out and it will still create the clip and it yeah so I do get a lot of just junk clips in there that aren't anything they're literally nothing they've got one view because um, I think they start off with one view because the person who created it viewed it um, I mean, it's okay. It doesn't bother me or anything. Um, but I just, I have to spend the, you can usually tell what they are because it's got my title and it's exactly 30 seconds in length. And I'm like, this is going to be a junk clip. Or it's going to be Jack trying to find where the explosives were. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, you got to kind of clean up some of those sometimes. That's okay. It's, uh, it's not. It's not like it's a problem or anything. It's just 30 seconds and about, if I get 10 seconds in and like nothing has happened, I'm like, yeah, okay, this is done. Um, Cause even if something really cool happens in the last five seconds, it's still a, not a good clip because you're gonna have people having to sit through 25 seconds of nothing before something fun happens and they're not going to. They'll start watching go, this is boring and swipe to the next one. Um, which is okay, understandable, I'd do the same. Uh, fun detector, how does it work? Well, we can math out fun. We absolutely can. We absolutely can. If there is a large uptick in chat, if that large uptick in chat contains lots and lots, like a high percentage of emotes, uh, if the volume of the stream overall gets loud, for example, a whole bunch of people in Discord celebrating a boss kill, um, all those kind of things, yeah, it, it absolutely, it can, you can math out hype. Just apparently not accurately by these particular people. Uh, Adam Sandler movies. better. Thank you. Yeah, I um, I mean, I've seen a few Adam Sandler movies, but not many. And um, eh. But there you go. Learn something new every day. Make sure something like that go through. It's better than me too. Click sometimes and miss hearing something. Yeah, of course. And so yeah, that'll uh. That'll generate a clip and I have to delete it later. This is to clean my junk so that you'll see there is that is the other thing. Yeah, so I can delete clips made of my channel. But you can also delete a clip that you have made if you desire. There's a there's a section in your in your dashboard, I think it is, or in like your user settings where it's like clips I have made, and you can go there th through there and like delete stuff that you've made that you don't actually want to hold on to. Um so you're saying don't clip the discussion about boring clips? I mean, can if you really want to, I guess. Uh, emote only chat. We can do that. Uh, this button first, then this button. <clears throat> oh my god, perfect timing. You are not prepared. Hi Jared, we've got emote only mode on. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Welcome on in. Spam all of Jared's emotes if you've got them. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you? I'll do the caster command because I'm not sure that... Oh, look, I can't spell. One moment. There we go. 
Because I can, I can overrule. So can like Jas, but I think he's busy, so that's okay. Go drop Jaro to follow. It's free. Got all of these pretty emotes. I hope you had a fantastic stream. We're in in one minute when emote only mode is over. I would love to know. Was Dupe watching you, and that's why Dupe did emote only because they knew that. Like you know what? I would not put that past you. That's absolutely what happened, isn't it? Um, <laughs> God. Also, I hit 59. That was a that ding was 59. So we're getting there. Um, I'd love to know what you were playing. Love to know if you had fun. Like once once we get out of A mode only mode, I'd, I would like to know all of the things, if possible. Look at all these pretty emotes. They're all bouncing on the screen. Streamlabs stream is broken. Oh no, there's... Oh, uh, I think the animated emotes must not be able to be rendered or something. That makes sense. Not long now. Thank you to everybody for contributing to emote only mode. You may now use your words again. How is the stream, Jared? Hello, Yuri! How are you? Disagree, I would do that though. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, fair. I just I thought that's really funny. You too will burn. Suck it, Jared. Yeah, look. I how else am I supposed to respond? Nowhere to hide. Mmm, get the thing from Fork Knife. Wonderful. We had a wonderful time. Thank you so much again for the raid. to Yuri bot bad people. I mean, that doesn't surprise me with that category. Like... <laughs> Indulge in my wares. Some games have uh, interesting reputations. I think you only should just... Because you bring the fun or something. Yeah, so, um... You can, like, if, if there is all of a sudden an uptick in chat and a lot of it is emotes, um, it sometimes can be attributed to the fact that something has just happened that is an exciting moment. Ah! Baby, Peg! I am grateful. Thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. I'm new here, so I can't I'm contribute. I'm not a paladin. <laughs> can't contribute to channel points, hopefully you must accept a stream. Oh, that is so sweet of you, Heg. Thank you so much for the donation. That is so generous of you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Typical mortal. Meddling in things you cannot comprehend. Uh, do you actually need a room? I'm sure they probably already got one, Yuri. Alright, so I am 15.98% of the way through 59. It's gonna be a tight, like, this is gonna be close. If I can make 60 or not. This is gonna be real close. God, this was quick. Excuse me. Granted, I started at 54. And I was I was like this far away from 55 when we started. So like we need we do need to take that into account. Yes, that did not come through. Test failed. <laughs> Test failed successfully. So faster than I do. Yeah, look, I mean, Lagor, GSE, Demon Hunter. 
<clears throat> we have eternity. Oh, I'm. I can turn in thingy. So I think I might do that, and I might see what Torghast is like for Demon Hunter. Last bit. Hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna bum rush it though. I think I'll probably take my time. That's 21% of a level from turning in this one quest I'm about to turn in. Well, 20 and a half. <laughs> so that's going to help as well. Head back to Oribos. Let's see what Torghast looks like. potential savior of the Shadowlands has arrived. There is no possibility of victory. Oh, is that not exciting? That voice line though, there is no possibility of victory here. How is that not exciting? It's like, well. Why would anyone walk anywhere? Another satisfying I suppose that it's scale. Uh, yeah, yeah, it scales. It absolutely scales. Um, kind of like Diablo three did. You know, your your friends have joined, have entered the, uh, have entered hell. The minion, or the enter, the minions of hell grow stronger, or whatever the fuck the line was. Yeah, it, it works like that. Um, it scales. The benefit of doing it in a group is that you have protection against and against bad luck. If you're one person and you get all shit powers, then it's going to be a shit run. But if you're with a group of people and you get all shit powers, the chance of all of you getting all shit powers is pretty slim. So you may end up, like, hopefully you'll at least end up with one person who can almost carry the rest of you through sort of thing. Um, that's the, the benefit of doing it as a group. But I would like to see what it's like. Let's see if I can solo it. I'm curious. <clears throat> I forgot I can't fly in here. <laughs> Always forget. There is a throne for that. The throne has been just such an amazing godsend. I spent a bit of time this morning um, going through the, like they've got one of those kind of suggestion like feature suggestion things where people ask stuff and you can like vote on ideas and the ones with the most votes get kind of looked at and stuff um spend a bit of time going through stuff on there furthering the purpose your path is chosen tour just hear the words of the arbiter <clears throat> All will be judged fairly. Any entity there that needs your aid. Until we speak again. Hmm. Uh, yeah. It's like seeing on Disney Fest. This fun regardless of the content fair. Or just. Yeah. Plummet! How do we feel about Iron Dox and Grimrail Depot being chosen for S4? I feel like I've learned something new.
I didn't know that. Shall we discuss terms? Do watch your back. <clears throat> okay. And just scold this hole and see how we do. Uh, I have no feelings for or against his choosing. One of my earliest moments was you. Falling in love with a power that took his jumping from him. <laughs> yep, gain a crap load of primary stat, but you can no longer jump. I remember so much fun than any mythic philosophy with him. This will be a shit show. That's probably why they picked him then. They might be easier to scale than the other ones. To make it in, ew. have something on fear that means I don't have to loot anything in Torghast. Is that a thing? Oh, that thing! Right. I remember you vaguely telling me about that. Like, vaguely remember. Doing then no trash. Gasp my vote and is a shit dungeon horrible place with us. Yeah, not just that, but the fucking skip that everyone will be like instructed that they must know how to do and they'll kick you from the group if you don't know how to do the skip and all that kind of crap. Everbloom was trash. Like Everbloom was horrible for getting kicked from groups. Yeah, made or break it, yeah. Yeah. The wall jumping, and if you couldn't figure out how to do it, people would get really angry. Really angry. Oh, did they? There you go. Oh, it's been a while. Whenever I do it these days, I'm doing it for Transmog and or, or Ludipraiser Challenge just so I want to kill trash. There you go. Ah, oh, but the intention with that skip is just so much worse. Skip. Well, it's not too bad because you, you only go to here and then you got to kill some trash, kill a boss, and then loop up and drop right back at the entrance to go do the other bit. Like, it really wasn't that bad. It still flows. In my, in my opinion, at least. Obviously, you know, different people will have different opinions and that's okay. But I, I honestly felt like it worked, personally. Um, maybe you can do this, give you waste a lot of time. You know, left in for as long as it was, yeah. I don't think it was included on purpose. Like, I, I, I don't think that that was intentional. I, again, could be wrong. I don't think that was intentional, though. Um, I 
think that someone just made the the thing just a little bit too low and then someone was like, "Oh, I wonder if I could jump this." And then, you know, presto. Um Mm, fair enough. But, I mean, of course it's going to add a little bit of time to your, your route or whatever, but... I, yeah, I, I think it... I, I honestly... The fact that you don't have to run all the way back, kill the boss... Sorry, run all the way in, kill a boss, and then backtrack... The fact that it was a clean loop makes it a hell of a lot better. Like, if it wasn't a loop, it would have been worse. <laughs> in my opinion. <clears throat> Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that one, yeah. Yeah, that one as well. It just, the whole thing was a bit, I uh, Just a course crossing. I think that one is actually highlighted with the exclamation mark as well. If you hadn't have if you hadn't have added that punctuation, it might have gotten through. Funnily enough. Surprises me for some reason. Ah, oh, look at that. Heg, Cass, Koala, Bjorn, Lucky, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I hope you all got delicious amounts of gold. Congratulations all. Uh, we got one more battle. This is our last battle. Centurion. I'm gonna make use of this little message to say that it's the last battle. Where does that pop up for you guys? Like the the streamer message. I would love to know. So we've got a um. Apart from arms like a big book. So cute. Seventy five assists. Good lord. That's some. Alright. <clears throat> I was supposed to channel that, wasn't I? Oh, no, never mind. On the left. Oh yeah, so same place for me. Same same place as for me.
<clears throat> Two hour wait, three hour queue incoming. You might get a faster queue for a um, normal. <laughs> Don't just melt. Say cast takes. Ooh. It's fighting words. <clears throat> It's a piggy. The solas. Ah! Oh! oh, because I'm Night Fae. Oh, that's cool. I haven't really done Torghast on my druid, so. That's nice. Oh, hello. You spawned out of nowhere. There are no torments here. I think. It's probably like level one, so. Why can't I use it? I use a sequence macro. Hey, I see. No, I use gnome sequencer enhanced, which is like a car sequence macro on crack. Um, I play 12 different classes, uh, so that's 36 different specs, and my brain doesn't function in a way to remember all the rotations. So, um, so I use GSE to help. But it's kind of it's similar to a car sequence, but better. 
Um, but it is still like you press a button and it does a single action and then you press the button again and it does a single action, albeit a different action. Um, so... Yeah. It's the same thing that I just did. It didn't work. Um, so it's, yeah, not botting, but uh, very, very helpful. So I don't have to, like, yeah. Hope you're very well. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Use DK bullshit. No, I use Night Elf bullshit. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. It's super cool. Super cool. It's never going to be as good as somebody, like, actually playing and responding to the, the, the situation as it unfolds and stuff. Um, using cooldowns at appropriate times, etc. But it does well enough does well enough that I can kind of hold my own in a, a group context. Not that I really play my alts in group contexts very much, it's usually just solo stuff like farming mounts or collect uh, like collectibles, transmog pets, etc, etc. Um, but, uh, yeah, it does the job. There we go. <clears throat> There's a macro you can use to click that extra button when it appears on your screen in case it breaks or something, but it, that wasn't working either, so I had to do a reload! trap floor. <clears throat> oh, hey there, buddy. Patronage is always appreciated. Until our next transaction. Okay. Actually, I think I might hold on to my Phantasma and see if I can't get a um, bonus at the end. The vendor. So when you use that, like, that stone in the middle down the bait, like, in Torgas to actually queue, is that only for, um, like, because I can't do higher level wings because I'm in Threads of Bait, like, I'm leveling? Because I've not done that before. 
Uh, hello, Frostbeard. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Demon Hunter's your favorite class. Brilliant. What is it about Demon Hunter that makes you love it so much? Only cool. So I can't pick a higher level wing because this I'm, I'm going pretty well with this. This is this is not this is not difficult. Um, so far, knock on wood. Uh, so if I wanted to go up a level, I can't because I'm still leveling. Is kind of the, what I'm gathering here. Ah, uh, ability to float, double jump, and dash. Save myself so many times from dying. Oh, I can imagine. Uh, I made a mage. Um, so, yeah, slow fall is bound. <laughs> I, I feel, I feel that in my bones. Rage, terror, domination, it draws near. Hello, Keggy, how you doing? Welcome back. Great news! Well done! Super awesome. Frosty button and press all the buttons. Badger. Welcome back. Hope you're well. Oh, 
Right, let's go. Target, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't really care. I have macro, I push it, it does stuff, and things die. I, I don't care. <laughs> All goods and services for sale. Okay. Yeah. Remember. All the buttons, indeed. Out. Yeah, I use Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. Because uh, I have 50 characters spread as equally as possible over all 12 classes. Which is 36 specs. I said this about 5, 7 minutes ago. Um, and so my brain doesn't function to be able to hold on to all of those... Um, uh, rotations and stuff so I have my mages um, and all five of them I play with like all the buttons on the bars um, and all the other classes all the other specs I use a macro they're essentially like car sequence macros except they're a little bit more complicated um, and they're long <laughs> really long um, but it's one button one action so I press the key it does an ability I press the key, it does an ability. I press the key, it does an ability. Um, so it's not like, um, it's not a botting program. If, if that's what you're looking for, you're not gonna find that here. Uh, but it can absolutely help with, um, like if, especially if you're like a collector and you wanna have all the stuff, but you don't wanna have to learn how to play all the different things. It's, um, yeah, or funsies. Quite helpful. Yeah, uh, there are definitely people in the world who can help with that kind of stuff, though. You, um, you don't have to do it alone. Um, Mr. Monk will get there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, 50 tunes. So, four of everything, plus one extra mage and druid. And um, they're all 50 plus. Uh, 30 horde, 20 lions. We are done here. Alright, so that's... not quite enough to get me to 60. But I can go back to Revendreth and finish off a couple more quests. Maybe. So Torghast only gives you like... Half a level or something. I was expecting- everyone had like hyped it up. I was expecting it to be a bit more, but that's okay. Sixty, but farming rate on each. Yeah, that's um, I I I, I don't care. Just oh, okay. Come forth and be judged. Um. Your path. Let's go true. and see if I can do some more side quests. Uh, this will be my fifth 60. Um, but everything else is level 50 plus. Uh, but mm, fear, the mage is my main, is the only one that's like geared. Because I just, I don't care. <laughs> that's not how I play. And that's okay. There are tons of different ways to play. Uh, where's Altaholic? There you go, 2580 levels across. Everyone. Yeah. 
I like my little army. They make me happy. How much I miss those gone? Any good news on the dental situation? Um, I mean, I've had the surgery. I've had surgery number two. I have a hunk of titanium in my jaw now, which is great. Um, but that's healing nicely. Excuse um, me. Hello. Please do hurry. Yeah, just sort of. I cannot enter the light without my cloak. Nothing huge, I don't think. Fair enough. Fair enough. You've wandered into the wrong <clears> bit <throat> of shade, friend. Crunch. I'm at eighty-three point one six, and about seven minutes until the next battle. Reminder to place your units. Can we do it? Can we do it, chat? This cannot be the end. Interesting. Start so, superhero origin story. Look, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be opposed to that. No direction. It is indeed. It is indeed. Fancy a chin wag? Just a moment. I will need my cloak before we head into the light. Oh, follow. Good Much lord. Ugh, though it does have a putrid stench. Now, come along. I will show you how to locate mirror fragments. Can you do it faster? The only thing this wretched light is good for is making the fragments easier to find. 8761. Ah, here is one. Buried in the ash. <laughs> to the untrained eye, <clears throat> all mirror shards look identical. But I can tell by the glint alone where that shard came from. Mirrors are a magical network super villain one Child i don't judge yeah like possible so long as anti hero from the same type of glass up ahead i see enough just keep pulling things and killing them while he like wanders along slowly and surely Eight twenty-two. Fragments should never be discarded. They can be used to repair nearly any broken mirror. You cannot always be certain Anti -hero. where the mirror will take you. But not not a villain, but you. someone who doesn't really want to Over be the there. hero either, but ends up doing it anyway. Venom, anti-hero. You certainly have an eye for this. We will be out of here in no time at Simone. What is she doing out here? Anti hero, yep. Hello there. To what do I owe the pleasure? I have to literally stand on the mirrors. That's Who would do this to her? Fancy Your chin pathetic work. master, Laurent. He did this. And rest well, Kazi. We'll see you next time. Stories. Typical hero, of course. Hmm. Plus, I would wager. Now, too, no worries, Duke. We'll see you next see. time. To what do I owe the pleasure? Yeah,
22 9199 9539 9978 that'll be it 30 seconds to go look at that hello there it has been Beautiful. Long since I to what do I Level sixty. Oh, something. There we go. Another sixty enters the fray. Perfect timing. Thank you for the grass. Much appreciated. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Timing. Ah. Amazing. Thank you, Ellie. Feels good. 50 60s. On the way. Joking. Or am I? Uh, Martin, Ali, Perksy, Dunno, Neke, and Demon, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done, congrats. Uh, and that's where we are going to wrap up the stream. Of course, as an ad begins, that's fine. Uh, we can use that time. Find a raid target. When you run into a white woman, that makes me want to pat it on the head. Yeah, it's like, oh, aren't you sweet? Aren't you lovely? Aren't you lovely? All right, here we go. Slash raid. Bam. Twitch raid. Bam. Grab your copy paste. 
if you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you are not subscribed or because you have not unlocked it using your channel points, that's totally fine. You can still copy and paste the entire message, change Fiamma Hype to your favourite Happy Hypey Celebratory emote, and then drop that into Hydrax's chat when we get there. Uh, this is what we're doing this month. This is the month of April. Tomorrow is a day off. I'm going to have a picnic, I think, maybe. I don't know. Look, we'll see. I might not get it at a better time. That's fine. Uh, on Sunday, we're going to do some transmog hunting. Uh, we are going to do some Ludopraiser challenges in there as well. So if you want to join us for those, you can be any region, any faction at all. And you can still join us because it's done via add-ons and the Battle.net friends list. So download Ludopraiser and Ludopraiser challenge plus set up your TSM uh, to be able to join us for that one. Um, Mount Farm Monday on Monday. Dark Moon Fair stream on Wednesday, and then wrapping around to next Friday, where we're going to do some more secret finding, cross up a couple more of those. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you on Sunday. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.